Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, session 116 of Poker Roll. Uh, we are coming out of the ocean from last session. Not sure we're what we're doing today, actually. I guess we're going to find out. We've got a few things we can get attend to, but we'll see where the game goes. This might be a little bit of a shorter session because, unfortunately, I spilled an ocean on my table. It was, it was coffee ocean, which sounds kind of amazing if it's not on your table. Um... But yeah, it delayed me a little bit, so this session might be a little sort of shorter. Sorry about that, YouTube. But I might as well get into it as well. Uh, before I begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. We're trying to reach your partner over here, but we need more viewers to do it. Uh, so if you want to come by, whether the lurker or talk, think about doing so. Because it does make a big difference, and we'd honestly love to have you. And you catch extra shenanigans and sometimes extra drama by coming by Twitch. It's exciting. Uh, we also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a Poker Roll Discord as well for our Poker Roll game that you can access off that community. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. And I have a merch store with also some Tekken merch if you want to buy some cool stuff. Uh, links are in the description. You can check them out at your leisure. And of course, we also have the Poker Roll Wiki that you can also look at if you're interested. But with that being said, yes, I think, I I think I've calmed down a little bit now. <laughs> I think I can play a game now. How's everybody doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Eating cinnamon right. buns. See, I wish I had one. That would be a nice, like, calm down bun. <laughs> I love cinnamon buns. I got buns. them because of cotton. Aw, that's good. <laughs> I, I don't understand, but that's cool. <laughs> do they, do they one like... of my peeps. He I know, I know. Cinnamon they buns. Oh, they like them. Okay, fair enough. Mm. <laughs> yes, it's a special well, treat like for them. him and his partner. I hope you like them too, because anybody who doesn't like a cinnamon bun is not welcome here. I don't know. <laughs> it's fine if you don't like them, I guess. They were kind of mid at first when I got them, but I, they started, the taste has started to grow on me. That's fair. <laughs> Actually, I, if you have cinnamon allergies, I understand if you don't like them. Some people do. I actually used to have one, but I got better. I, I don't know how that works either. I'm also doing well. And just make me imagine Tucker with ginormous cinnamon roll in their mouth. Oh, absolutely. He's already <laughs> a cinnamon bun himself, so it only makes sense. <laughs> also, I think, uh, Tubby, I think you're safe to unmute now, unless there's yeah. stuff going on. No, no more jump scares or worries right now. <laughs> and Tubby I is currently... Worried. I was going to make noise. <laughs> <laughs> Tubby is out on Thanksgiving uh, things. Oh, that could be, it's tomorrow. Hello, Tubby. So his mic's not as high quality today. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Because he's, he's on his phone. <laughs> right then. I will get into the recap for you all. It's a real quick recap, and Ennio was very kind and labeled this particular chapter, We Punched a Wizard, which is an accurate <laughs> recap. <laughs> Specifically, Ralph punched a wizard. Also, I just want to say, love you guys, and thanks for your patience. I, I, punched, <laughs> I punched a wizard. I thought he was... I thought he was the tank. Unless tank made. Maybe. You don't know how wizards work. Not in this universe. <laughs> I guess not. But I, I mean, he had a big shield, so like that usually is a tank. Just because the turtle doesn't mean he's a tank. <laughs> the quality of his mic may be low, boy. but the quality of his jokes remain the same. Could it be better said, honestly? Golden. <laughs> Look, unless they're a Blastoise, they're not automatically a tank and a wizard. Well, quick recap, I, I have a quick picture to show. Exactly. Works out. And exactly, Tubby. Hi. The quality of your jokes is always high. <laughs> right then. Team Cheer head in the direction of the shadows they spotted before, and Burke decides to take out the security lamp he'd purchased from the shop. Well, it's called a security lamp. Uh, the real name of it is a glow gazer. I believe it's the glow gazer lamp. With the weird glowy eyes. And uh, because you had that, you guys defeated my ambush, which makes me both proud and sad. But. The figures that they 
were seeing in the distance originally were a Caracosta and a Hunt Tail, the former of which bearing mysterious runes marked all over their shell. Bert tries to ask them why exactly they're loitering around outside of the shop and getting in the way of business, to which the Caracosta responds with displeasure about Curseus sharing their traditions with Pokemon from the surface in exchange for money. A battle promptly escalates from there, with a lamp revealing a pair of Frillish, who look to have been attempting to sneak up on Team Cheer during the battle. Sad, that was their only use. The team is able to dispatch the Frillish and restrain the Huntail, but are unfortunately unable... Unable... Oh, it says able here. Uh, unable to defeat the Caracosta before they use an ink cloud to help them and the Huntail escape. I should fix that. Later. It was a mighty battle, though. It was a mighty battle. That was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you all had so much fun. <laughs> it took up an entire session. It was worth it. Most of the big battles do, and I think it's kind of nice, though, because it, it, because you're adding story sections to the fights, which that's why they take so long, but that's that also makes them more cinematic. So, If, if it's a random encounter mm -hmm. in a dungeon, I try not to be as cinematic, but yeah. I want to make it entertaining for <laughs> Yeah. Oh, man. Mostly because I kept rolling so high against something that I was supposed to, like, outthink in other ways. <laughs> I just hammered away with, like, six successes, seven successes, eight <laughs> successes. You all just rolled really well. Yeah, we did. It was absurd. Even Tucker, I think, rolled well, which was unusual. All of about. you got crit at some point or another. It was kind of ridiculous. I actually had to use the enemy's will. <laughs> I. My god. <laughs> yes. Actually making them use the mechanics you can use. Uh, <laughs> the team lament being unable to bring Caracosta and Huntail in for questioning. But decide to bring the Frillish with them to report to Curseus about what happened. Uh, yeah. Bring the Frillish in giant air quotes. <laughs> Before they go, Ralph spots a piece of the Caracosta's shell and decides to take it with him. Ralph, collecting more memorabilia. When they reach Curseus' shop, they explain what happened and present them with the Frillish and the broken shell. They also decide to ask about what Caracosta mentioned before the battle. To which... Curseus answers by explaining that most Pokemon from their village weren't fond of their decision to sell magical items, as most wielders of magic choose to keep such things to themselves due to the dangers they could pose in the wrong hands. Mentioning the seamstress as one such example, in particular for them being kind of the, the hermity type magic person. However, even if they couldn't fully apprehend the Caracosta, or kill them, as Perseus expected the Caracosta to just fight to the death, that battle should at least dissuade them from loitering around the shop for now. Rolf asks them about the rune inscribed on the shell, and learns that some Pokémon may adorn their body with runes to receive a similar effect as the talismans that Curseus sells. He then muses over the idea of tattooing such runes onto himself, which Curseus warns can be incredibly dangerous for one not versed in such practices to do so. Rida decides to present Curseus with the alchemy notes found in Hatterene's Labyrinth, which piques their curiosity, and they explain that they have the tools to perform the process, but lack the ingredients. Rida asks if they could buy those tools, but Curseus refuses. However, they do allow Rida to use the tools within their shop to test their alchemy skills and provide this for you with a little bit of competition. I'm pretty sure the Bergmite uh, had had a quip or outburst here, like, hey! Rida's interest is piqued at the idea of learning alchemy, and lets Curseus copy down the alchemy notes in exchange for letting them peruse Curseus' basic guidebook of alchemy. Uh, Rida actually just flat out received that guidebook, so they kind of have it. Nice. Curseus doesn't need it. Dysphoria doesn't need it. Dysphoria has their own notes. Ralph decides to ask if she knew anything else about the star metal piece, but they bluntly respond that they know nothing about it. Tucker asks out of curiosity if he could pay for the necklaces they've been using to breathe underwater, to which Curseus explains that the necklaces would cost 500 poke each, which Tucker doesn't have on hand. But they could also do Curseus a favor later when they need something done, if they come back another time to get the necklace. 
the Yasuo Hand Tucker a vial of strange goo is a small consolation. Also, Ralph, for his part, uh, turned in the shell piece and received, uh, what was it? The gloom hung a gloom hunger pendant in return. Which we still need to figure out what it does, which is going to be interesting. Yes, um, but Brooke activated some of the effects of their coat during the underwater fight, which is why it now has some of its stats filled in. Oh, yep. When you hover over it, it has now been filled in properly. Huh. Yep. Mm, and, okay. And and the strange goo has a little fill in text, and I don't believe I filled in. Oh yes, I filled in text for the pendant, purely for the player's convenience. Ralph does not know what the pendant does yet. Interesting. Hmm. So, uh, in enjoy that, audience. You have now seen what terrible things await. Wait, what, what does that mean? <laughs> what does the audience see? It makes you rude and you can eat rocks. Well, I mean, <laughs> if you're hovering over it, the audience oh. should be able to see. Oh, I wasn't hovering over I wasn't sure. Let's see here. Oh, right, that's not you. That's... Uh, that's Hydra. That was, that was Hydra. <laughs> I was like, I was reading it. <laughs> All right, let's see here. We will have our pin that Dermot self plus one accuracy versus ghost minus four etiquette. <clears throat> ghost foe what, minus one evade versus you. Must eat meat raw. Can eat precious minerals gems. Okay, could turn from turn to spike from MLP. <laughs> I believe I did mention to Ralph uh, last session that when they put it on, they. Uh, they had an urge to consume uh, rare meat. Yeah, wrong. Yeah, you did. I do remember that description. Yeah. <laughs> Can eat precious minerals. So, so this thing gave me object board. <laughs> uh, well, kind kind of. of. <laughs> um, precious uh, minerals, skins. Yep. It's like MLP Dragon. <laughs> yes. And Brooke's coat is, uh, a thing. <clears throat> it makes me heavier outside the water. Yes, it does. Well, it's stiff outside the water. <laughs> because okay, it's, it's, uh... Restricting. Yeah, because it's made of Sharpedo hide. Oh, cool. Huh, I guess we all got something. Yep. Everybody got something. I went to Curse's shop and all I got was this bottle of goo. <laughs> yep, it's like and a that shirt. one I'm that one I'm not copying the effects onto because it's more fun that way. Isn't it just random anyways? That's the impression that I was given after some discussion, so um, it doesn't really have written effects, so to speak. Uh you roll a D6 and I have a chart. Oh, there's a chart. Okay. Mm -hmm. Controlled randomness, I see. That's why it says to roll a D6. <laughs> Fair enough. I figured that's how that worked. And I already gave Ryda the the, uh, the basic notes. alchemy things that the notes provide you. Yeah, so those would be fun little things to start producing. There's literally no telling of when one should consume the strange goo, then. It's like, oh no, a dangerous situation, quick, maybe it'll help, or something. Or like, hmm, well, I'm missing an ingredient for this dish, I guess I'll put this in. <laughs> you can consume it. Oh, dude. You can see if tossing it on Sneak something will make, make a thing happen. That's true. Attack! Maybe! Toss it in a pie. <laughs> no, I'm well, actually going to start writing in my ask notebook. Rise if he wants help preparing the meal right and slip it in when he's not looking. Oh god, no. What does he mean? Ruin his, possibly, potentially, probably ruin his dish. Use it as paint. <laughs> no, that's a bad idea. Paint? Uh, <laughs> what? That's how you get yes, I, I think, like the portrait of Dorian Gray. I think I should get my kitchen. <laughs> I think I should paint my kitchen uh, a lovely shade of strange goo. Ooh. As I mentioned, it's glowy. Oh gosh. Um, that's true. 
minus four etiquette. Etiquette was already not like oh, strongest. Oh no! Wait, you said it's glowing. Can you have negative etiquette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I sorry, I just got the the idea because you know Tucker being Tucker. I was thinking, oh, paint the ceiling of it like the little light, you know, like the glow in the dark paint you put in kids' rooms, and then like, yes. you see the stars. <laughs> yeah, the black light paint. Yeah. I'm not going to dissuade you. <laughs> it's kind of adorable. <laughs> I have an idea. I had that. What was that? You had that cur? What'd you do with that dastardly cur? Oh no, did the bike did something happen? <laughs> He's tagging me now. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh dear. No, it's okay. As long as you can hear us. Uh, let me let me guess, you didn't bring your phone charger to like skivvy. Yeah, I, don't I think know. He can experience. hear us without his phone either. So if he was using Discord through it. Yeah, I think that's how he's doing it. Oh dear. Uh, they're still on Discord. I think they still have their computer, right? They just didn't have a mic with the computer. They were. They yeah, thought the... that was the thing, right? They they thought the computer had a mic, but it doesn't. Correct. So. But I know from experience that. Uh, voice will drain a phone battery. Oh, yeah. Cause I, I kind of just assumed he had it plugged in while using it, but... Uh, yeah, do you... I swear there was a session ages ago where it was like, yeah, I'm kind of on my phone because of a lack of power. Yeah. I do remember that. It was a while back, but I remember that. Yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't necessarily lack of power. It was a lack of internet. Yeah, because but he was still mobile. A long time. Don't you hate when you forget phones don't have unlimited power? Don't you forget <laughs> it when you forget the rules of the conservation of energy? <laughs> Stupid uh, science. It's constantly dying because it has more than 24 hour battery life. Dude, right. my phone is so old. I've had it for so like never so. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to know I was interrupting. Sorry about that. Um, but my phone is sold at this point. That it lasts for about one hour and ten minutes from full charge to dead. Oh wow! That is with like just gen like standard usage or just having it on. My new phone lasts me the entire day and maybe two days if I don't use it that much, without going on the charger, and it'll still be fine. It's amazing how much batteries degrade <laughs> over time, I mean. I am honestly pondering getting a new phone at some point just to have, because, like, it's becoming unviable <laughs> at this rate, you know, like, how, how short it lasts. It's yeah. Older. You might be able to replace the battery. I, yeah, that's the thing, though, I was like, but where am I going to get an old battery of that, for that model that isn't itself a trash battery because it's old? That's fair. That's, that's the, it might be possible. Maybe it's why I was just sitting on use somewhere I could buy it. It was just in a warehouse. So that'd, probably, that'd be a great battery, probably. But I'm not sure if that can be found because it's so old, like I said. But I can look it up. Lithium batteries tend to only uh, degrade on use. So if yeah. these so are not being used, then it should be fine. Yeah, if I don't get a battery that has been used, then and it, it's just an old battery that hasn't been used, then it would be uh, way better. Yeah, definitely way better. Mm. So Tubby said he had a little longer cord, so I assume he's uh, solving the issue right now. Is there anything else we can uh, address story-wise, or anything else for the recap while he gets that finished up? I'm pretty much done with everything I want to do in town. Well, well, there's a so mission. Kersey has just gave me the notes, or were they like, I can borrow them and then return them? Uh... If Rida wants to copy them over and then return them, Curseus is fine with that, but Curseus also doesn't need those notes. Okay. Might have copies or just, yeah. Well, if they don't want it back, I guess I'll just keep it, and that'll be my new no uh, note journal where I put my stuff in. Uh, none of the pages are blank. Well, never mind. It, I'm it, getting in a new book. 
It's it's alchemy for amateurs. Mm-hmm. Can't write in the margins? <laughs> oh, that would be very What margins? <laughs> <laughs> what margins stares at notebook filled with doodles in every margin? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In that case, yeah, I'll probably trans. I'm definitely going to transcribe it into something because I did talk to Carr about the idea of getting Rita their own sort of alchemy book, just to write down a- every recipe they get and any they make. Yep. And if you wanted, you could ask Luxray if they have a blank book to to like sell, but they probably won't sell it. They'll probably just give it to you. That's an interesting thought that Neo said. Just had a thought of Ryder practicing alchemy of Lytton and, and stuff on. The thing is, though, I don't think... Do any of us explicitly realize that... I don't think that was ever, like, actually stated to the characters. Yes, it was. Was yes, it? it was. Okay. Brooke, Brooke guessed that it was a thing. Ah. Yeah, Curseus mentioned they have had a daughter, and Brooke just gave a quote-unquote wild guess, not so wild <laughs> guess, that it was a certain litten, and they were like, yep. Yeah. Oh, fair. And it is It is also stated that the litten apparently has made this strange goose stuff, so there is some alchemical properties to litten's abilities, so. Oh, no, they, it was made completely on accident. Oh. <laughs> That's why it's the way it is. <laughs> Technically still alchemy, though. Accidental like, alchemy. <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you joke, Anio, but I'm turning Ryder into a witch. Sorry, what was that, Kyrie? It's the stuff you make a ton of when you want to level up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Skyrim God, you're right. It's better than eating the ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> it would have to be a rock rough, then. <laughs> How many sessions have you been here, Hydra? I just looked at Hyper's message. I've brought that up several times now. <laughs> oh my goodness. That killed me when I read it. <laughs> it's just like, he just had an epiphany all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, that was the eureka moment. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I'm laughing at your expense, but that was really good. Oh. I mentioned that from the beginning. You have. I... I guess some people just don't remember. <laughs> By the way, I'd be yes, super Rida is freaks. just an anagram for Hydra, because I'm not that original. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. So I'm going to move forward, assuming that Tubby can hear us. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and on the subject of moving forward, I will mention that I don't think Tucker. T- well, Tucker wanted to obviously check in and had Irene here and there, but. Well, if the team was planning on uh, heading out of town, then uh, obviously these mission. But uh, yeah, I guess there's nothing particularly that Tucker has to do right now, and nor does he have the funds to do much of anything. So yeah. So I know that R and R had something they wanted to do, mm-hmm. but I don't believe they've really shared it with anyone. Mm-hmm. Still a secret. Uh, and you all still have a few days left in the hotel, and there isn't really a concrete time when the shaman is going to be healed. Mm-hmm. But Hatterene is going to stick around until that time, and I'm going to make the DM executive decision to leave Riley and Lizard here for that purpose. Okay. Nice. Unless Brooke orders them otherwise. I don't see a need to at the moment. Yay, Hatterene has bodyguards. Big air quotes. <laughs> oh no, Poff and Laddie are gonna be so sad. Mom and Dad are gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> yeah. Man, they're gonna <laughs> jump on the bed. <laughs> it would be more impressive to see Poff jump, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I think my plan for Rita is just uh, first thing, get the book, transcribe the notes, and then after that, they're gonna go 
on the R and R mission. Okay. We can just abstract that then. It doesn't have to be a whole thing. Okay. The, the, yeah, the yeah. note writing or the R and R mission? Because I feel like the R and R mission should not be abstract. No. Not well, the R &R yeah, mission. that definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, right. It just comes back like nothing happened. We just skip over the whole mob thing. That that developing arc, yeah, it just ended off screen. Like, oh my god, I see some <laughs> shows that have done that. I, I put too much work into that. It's not <laughs> happening off screen. <laughs> just hand when the it. writers run out of time for like a season and they just cut a, a fucking arc like that like <laughs> <laughs> donate now and get pocket pocket pioneer's guide in <laughs> <laughs> i can monetize this though <laughs> yeah. well, if that's the case can i just change one of the alchemy cards to just say like uh writer's notes and then That'll signify that I have everything transcribed into one. Yeah, you can just uh, rewrite the name for Curseus' alchemy for amateurs. So I'm being led to believe then that we're going to be in town for a few more days because, well, obviously the we don't. Well, the awkward thing is Tucker and Brooke don't know, but the R and R mission obviously would be taking place before we left, probably. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, the the rooms were paid for seven days, and it has been not seven like days. I, I know it's been. May as well get what we paid for. Four? Yeah, oh, that sounds about right. Already. Okay. Four or five at most. Hmm. Well, since there is some time, I think what Tucker would end up doing um, before they ultimately went on V's mission, uh, hmm, he doesn't have his outfit right now, but it wouldn't be bad for him to earn some coin at V's. We are so poor. <laughs> Very poor. Everyone is so poor. <laughs> right is rich in knowledge. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm actually starting to feel bad about that. Uh, with the amount of time you spend in sea spray and helping. Yeah. We just spent all of our money on, all of my money on a week long stay at the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Ralph. Tucker should have brought his outfit. He didn't think he was going to be happy time for it, but oh, is he? I saw his icon light up, but I didn't hear anything. Might be finicking with something. Oh, I hear him, but it sounds like he's five miles away. I don't hear him. I just see the icon lighting up. I hear him literally faintly. Very faintly indeed. I'm gonna guess that he has. I'm gonna guess what happened was he said he has a long cord of him. He went looking for the long cord, couldn't find the long cord, put on the shorter cord, and is trying to talk across the room on the shorter cord. No, no, no. Um, oh. I was brought a, uh, a headset. Oh. That mic that is inches away from my face that it's. You sound fine now. I think it was just adjusting. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, that's nice of somebody to give you a headset. Yes, yes, my mom uh, came home uh, with one, and it, yeah, and I rigged it up right oh, quick. Nice. Oh, cool. That was nice of them. Yes. Thanks for the impromptu fix, too. Thank you, Tuppy's mom. Woo! Thanks. I can re-enable. There we go. Yeah. <clears throat> and I will, uh, I'll just turn you up a little bit more, and there we go. Okay. So... Uh, in which case, uh, reminder that you all can still train things, because I know some of you were training things. Uh... Yeah, I think, uh, given that he doesn't really have an outfit to do work right now, he's probably gonna hit up Luxray again, see about some more Thunderfang training. I uh, accidentally erased all the pips off of my uh, thing. Uh, what oh, thing? Oh, uh, uh, that's fine. I know. I vaguely remember how close you were. Uh, I forgot you. Yeah, you know, I could just reload the table real fast. We have done almost nothing. No, I I think he erased <laughs> it a while ago. Oh, um, did he? Also, yeah. what pips? You mean like your notes? 
I think it was um, Pip's for Psychic. Yeah, he was learning psych Psychic. Oh, uh, right. I was, no, it's okay. I was going to add, because I think Ralph was just like one Pip away. So I was going to ask what Ralph wanted to do while Ryda is uh, doing note transcription and visiting Luxray. Um, but if Ralph wants to uh, train Psychic, then we yeah. can just give you the Psychic card. Yeah, yeah, I suppose he'll just be training Psychic and, like, humming, humming the R&R theme. That's the theme, though. He goes along. Psychic, he'll go, na 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 nah, too obvious, too obvious, and he go. <laughs> Da, 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 da. No, no, that's not right. As he's like moving a rock or something up and down. You can just clone my psychic. Oh, right, you have a psychic. <laughs> oh, right, there's psychic fangs. Why, you didn't remember, Car? What? You should be psychic. <laughs> that was a bad one. That was a Ralph level. <laughs> Immediate regret after seeing it. <laughs> yeah, I just felt the, <laughs> the backpedaling. You need to promote me, sir. Oh yeah, I do need to promote you. I need to be psychic too. Let's uh, let's do that. There we go. That is something I should have already known. Um, I think yeah, I think Tucker's gonna go ahead and just continue to train. Thunderfang. He has two pip pips left on that. I'm not sure if there's enough time to train both of them, but. Is it like a pip a day or is it a pip every two days? How do we do with this for training? Uh, it was a pip for every training session that you completed. Okay. Basically every day then. Uh, and yours has a handy dandy number instead of pips. So. Yeah. There was a, there was a, why don't we, that actually a good point. Why did that one have a specific cutoff point while the other ones are a little more nebulous? Uh, the others are nebulous because they were meld moves. This one has a cutoff point because I used the experience necessary for it. Ah, I see. Hmm. As so, a uh, point. Let me let me just ask this. So basically, we have three days left at the hotel before uh, we end up leaving for probably V's mission, mission and such. So that would mean that we basically have three days to do whatever, right? Um. Yes. Unless, of course, you're right in Ralph because they have a mission thing. Um, but given that Tucker has no involvement in that, that means he's spending two of his three days training in Thunderfang, meaning I have to think about what to do for the last one. Uh, well, let's let's do this one day at a time. Okay. Because I don't know what's going to happen and or if Ralph and Ryda are going to inform the party of what they're doing. Yeah, this is me assuming that this is just going to remain a secret. But yeah, let's see what happens. I'm just, I'm just giving my plans. That's fine. If what you about want to spend the remaining days, what's Brooke doing? I, uh, I, I take it as Ralph being the uh, sidekick in this side tangent. So, <laughs> so, um. Ryda will be the decider of who's uh, privy to their shenanigans. Ralph is probably definitely... just like, if, if I share mm. this, Ryda might get mad or something. <laughs> <laughs> In that emotionless sort of fight. No. Yeah. Jeopardize the mission or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't see Ryda telling Brooke or Tucker. Definitely wouldn't tell Brooke because, you know, don't want to get Brooke in any danger, and wouldn't bring it up to Tucker because doesn't want Tucker to maybe stand in the way if things get intense. Also, technically, isn't this also a case of Ryda wanting to recover what Tucker gave them? So that's another that reason not to tell. Story. <laughs> that's the story. That's the story. That's the story. That is what is being told. Um, uh, we can't we can't have Brooke being in danger. He might he might get hurt. Ralph, Ralph's expendable though. Hey, Ralph, Ralph. <laughs> might be killed. <laughs> to be fair, Ryda has reasons to protect Brooke. 
But mm. yes, um, what is it that Brooke would like to do? I think Brooke is going to pick fights with the arena. That is fine. I have a big question for you. Do you want official fights? Or are you just doing, like, training? That was a bit quiet. What did he say? He's going to fight who? Pick fights I'm at the arena. Oh, just at the arena. Okay. Um, I mean, why not make it official? Okay. So. Here's how I'm going to do this so I'm not tossing you into randomized battles. Uh, <clears throat> also for my own sanity. <laughs> okay. Um... We're going to have you make th three rolls. Um, oh, and y'all can clear your stat tokens by now if you have not already. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm so, uh, not necessarily. Okay. Remember, there's the aquatic arena. That's true. Um, so first, uh, Strength Fight Brawl, if you would. That's ten. Yep. Oh, so when you said clear stat stuff, I just realized we should probably reset our HP and stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can. Like uh, yeah. Not will yet because the day is not over, and if something happens, ah, okay, I will leave will alone. Okay, next. Um, so, what kind of performance are you giving in the fight? Uh, like, what do you mean? Like, what's your gas mileage? Well, you you are a <laughs> you are a gladiator. <laughs> Oh, I see. <laughs> so, is it's basically going to determine which of the social stats I key this off of. Uh, probably boastful. Alright. Then, uh, let's use Tough Contest Perform. Ooh, you said your gimmick could be always referring to yourself in the third person. Nah, Jocelyn does that sometimes. <laughs> I don't want to be a total rip-off of Jocelyn. Ooh, that's not pretty good. I mean, it's hard to be a rip-off of Jocelyn. You look really cool. Oh, you know, a better word than performance would be, what are your theatrics for the battles? That, that, yeah, <laughs> that's that fair. makes sense. Yeah. All right, Being a so... pirate would also be really cool. Mm -hmm. It's like a risk. Are there any wrestler pirates? I'll have to look it's, that it's up. It's a retirement plan. Also, the dice track. I... I personally imagine that Brooke is not currently attempting to be much of a showman. I don't know. Alright, and for the third roll, give me a Will Survival Instinct. Ooh. So that would be Surely because I know Brooke at this point to some extent. Ooh. Interesting. Got a lot of ones. Yeah, but not necessarily a terrible amount. Alright, so Brooke does fairly well in the gladiatorial arena. In fact, uh, after several of your matches, you get uh, potential sponsors trying to uh, woo you, as it were. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'd be cool. Pink here, sponsored by... Well, who's... Brooke gets the usual spiel from each of them, like, you you have the makings of a champion. We would totally love to be your sponsor, be our personal gladiator, etc., etc. <laughs> Which... By the way, I looked 
I, I did look up if there was ever a pirate themed wrestler. Uh, Paul Burkill was a pirate themed wrestler. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. So when it comes to themed wrestler, I'm like, yes, that exists. It, it almost certainly does, because there's so <laughs> many. <laughs> but of course, the, the caveat with having a sponsor is um, them having effectively control over your gladiator profile. As it yeah, were. I think Brooke would politely decline. Which makes sense. But the arena owners are super happy to have you around. And also to kick the butts of however many tourists decided they thought it would be a great idea to fight. <laughs> yeah. As well as actual gladiators, but... Uh, let's see here. I'm sure the tourists are very in strength to on their background, but... Probably not as trained for combat, though, as a gladiator would be. All right. Brooke makes 100 poke. Oh, wow. So, um, not shabby. Uh, apparently, a lot of Pokemon decided to bet on... bet on the matches the Croconaw with the uh, really cool and scary pirate code in it. <laughs> Makes sense. Awesome. <laughs> Though now the odds are perhaps a little bit skewed because Brooke didn't lose a single match. Or Not too shabby. Dog if you keep winning. True. It's okay to be an overdog. Any any form of dog is fine. <laughs> Do I get any experience points for that? Uh, it's not an unreasonable statement. Yeah, you know what? Give yourself four experience, because you go through four matches in the day. Okay, sure. Nice. Fight is basically always a guaranteed experience gain. Well, assuming you win at least. <laughs> Almost. You learn something when you lose too. That's true. Okay. Uh, I take it Tucker is training. Yes, I assume uh, with Luxray directly, so I don't know if he'll be at the arena. That's what Luxray wants to do. I mean, he could train by himself, but if Luxray has the time, it's probably better to, like, hang out with him. Plus, Luxray is kind of interesting, so Tucker might casually ask questions, too. Not anything about it, anything in particular, but maybe maybe about, like, uh, his kids, because he's had interactions with, you know, that team as well. Okay, I have adjusted Tucker's thing. Raida is copying notes. Luxray is happy enough to lend you a pen. Or a quill, or what have you. <laughs> Thank you. And Ralph was training Psychic, which means... Unless anybody has anything else they want to do today, we can conclude the day. Yeah, I think we want to go. Mm -hmm. This is a wrap, and this is... This is a new telekinesis, is a new ability which Ralph will exclusively use for things that are responsible. Mm -hmm. You make a note of it like that, though. <laughs> <laughs> the urge to scream lies at the top of my lungs, the deranged maniac. <laughs> when something so reassures like you when you weren't asking for reassurance, that's always the worst reassurance. <laughs> <laughs> Some random NPCs looking up at the sky. Oh, that's funny. Those clouds kind of look like they spay lies in all caps. <laughs> oh, and those clouds after them kind of look like exclamation marks. Oh, <laughs> funny. Right then. Okay, every... Everyone who has lost will may restore their will as we move on to the next day.
Okay. And now instead of saying paid for seven days, it now says hotel room stay six of seven. I have a quick question. Yes. Because I can't remember. I don't think I can act on this right now regardless. Or I don't think technically because it costs money. But <clears throat> was it said that the wedding bands could be turned into earrings by a, perhaps a vendor in Sea Spray? I think that was what it was said before, right? Um... I believe I said at some point that they could be uh, remade. Yeah. If if you so chose. I think it was specific um, that Savon Town didn't have the setup for that, though, basically. No. There is not a jeweler in Savon. That being said, r remind me, wasn't Brooke and Blaze setting up a forge of sorts? Uh, correct, yeah. but they have smithing tools. Jewelers' tools are a little different. That's true. Just wondering, does use some of the same resources? Pondering. I mean, yeah, yes, they do use the same resources, but the process itself and the tools necessary to perform that uh, profession are they, they are finer, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Meant for a smiter, smaller, finer detail things, and the heavy tools would just break, probably. Okay. That's my inquiry. <laughs> okay. Um, so. What is everyone doing today? We'll start with uh, we'll start with Tucker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, not trying to make fun of you, but you said, "What does everyone doing today?" <laughs> That's a good sentence. I like that sentence. I, yeah. <laughs> That's one of, one of the sentences I say sometimes on streams. Um, but, but yes. What What is everyone doing today? Starting with Tucker. Uh, Reminder: I, you You can still work if you want to. Minus outfit. I mean, like they they would first have to fit me into another one. I think Tucker wouldn't want to inconvenience them. They've already done that once, so. Uh, but no, he does have a reason to keep trading, too. Uh, he really does want to have more viability and variety in what he can perform, so. Getting Thunderfang mastered is indeed a priority. Um, so, I think he will just uh, probably continue trading that. Okay. Assuming, of course, that he's not taking up too much of uh, Luxray's time, but... Uh, Luxray is basically going to tell Tucker they are at the point of just having to practice. Yeah. Because Luxray can only really offer a lecture. And the library is not a good place to train. So That's obvious, yeah. <laughs> we can, however... Hey, bite me, Luxray. <laughs> Don't provoke God, Char. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> Hey. Hmm? There you go. Yay! You can now take Thunderfang off of your notes. You've learned it. Earned it. You know what's also nice about the Fang moves? They're all basically identical, with just like a difference in element. And like, Correct. you know, parallels this or this or that. So it's very easy to remember how to use them. You just swap a few things. Oh, what the heck? I didn't even realize... No, okay. F yeah, it is burn. For some reason, I missed Red Fire Fang to have burn two, and I was like, what? No, what? No, it's burn one. I thought, my, I thought it was better than I thought for a moment. <laughs> what were you saying, Kyrie? Imagine melting them. Uh, uh. Try attack. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. People have Try posited fire. that in the past frequently and it's like mm. uh that's cute what try attack uh, no nope. wanting to meld all the fang moves oh <laughs> no nope. that's cute but we're not making that possible so <laughs> basically yeah, fire, fire, ice, 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 ice fang is... and fire fang yeah that's try attack. wait that is try attack right because tri well, it's a normal type move but like it technically uses fire ice and lightning y'all <laughs> please, please stop talking over Kyrio. Sorry. Oh, sorry, Kyrio. I need to turn you up, Kyrio. You're quieter than... I think I'm missing that you're talking. I'm sorry. 
Oh, am I? Uh, yeah, you do seem a little quieter than normal. Oh, I can't turn you up anymore. I'm sorry, though. Uh, I don't mean to interrupt. I wonder if my equalizer is not full on them. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have brought it up, but it's happened a couple times now. I'm really not trying. I just, like, literally don't hear him sometimes. I, I understand. That's a resource. That seems fine. Huh. Maybe I just need to speak up. If, I guess I could turn up my mic, or uh, my headset, too. I'll do that, I guess. Okay. Now that, now that the chaos is set, what, <laughs> what are people saying? I was just mentioning that fire, ice, and lightning is the ingredients used to make Lugia in that one movie. <laughs> ingredients? To make? Lugia Fang. <laughs> Wait, it makes what mm -hmm. now? In the movie? Pokemon I forget. 2000. It's... It, it, uh, you had to get all the three element. of the orbs. Yes. Sorry. Does it, does it make Lugia or like summon Lugia or it, it summons him? Oh, it's like yeah. it's just just add water Lugia. Because <laughs> 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 they're associated with water. Okay. Now, now what were you saying, Tubby? Did I forget? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I was just I was just musing at the uh, hilarity of Cry Attack and a fight. Oh yes, right. Again, I'm sorry, but also you are correct. It is the the elements of Try Attack, Try Attack bite. Right. Every Fang move ever, like the, you had Hyper Fang and all the elemental bites and everything. Uh, bite and crunch, like all their effects and everything all in one. Call it Omni Fang. Or Supreme Fang. I mean, you could try, but there is a reason that Mel Boobs are limited to uh, three ingredients usually. I'm just talking about in general, not necessarily for this game. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do Brook next, and then we will move on to R and R because I know what they're doing. Maybe. Um. I guess I could train up Ice Gun or some more. I don't have a card ready. Um, okay, um... No, no, I, I say that because, uh, you, you've made it happen. Okay. Oh, what's the move? It, uh, Basically, it's... Multi-shot ice gun. Okay, so we need to make yeah. a card for that. Should I do that, or should I, should you do that card later? Um, I don't have the color basis for Ice Gun, unfortunately. All it all it is is a variation of Ice Gun, where instead of a single target, it's all target. Okay, so it needs a name change and a small description change. Yeah. Uh, let me, I'll give you the template for that off, off the side. It has slightly different effects, too, if I remember right, but I don't actually remember all of them. Um, I believe in return for being able to target all uh the status effects are happening that makes sense i can't believe. freeze the entire room <laughs> either that or they're like one dice less but yeah, yeah. car for the time being just like copy him like a, a random car just for now but uh we can just replace it later ice gun, maybe yeah. yeah. Just give a different alt text. And, there we go. Uh, I also, I do not have a save template, but I can give you. Yeah, I do not have a save template of that divide, unfortunately. That's okay. Okay. I just in the restroom before our segment came up. No, that's totally fair. Hey, car. Are yes. you okay? I, I obviously had to de-stress a bit, but are you good? I'm okay. Okay. I'm I'm sorry if I projected any form of like stress or anxiety. 
I just d did not want people to be overshadowed. Oh, I agree. Like I said, like I've said numerous times, that I do mean it. I really do like it when Kara's on mic. I don't want to get in the way of that. Oh, I like it when you all are on mic. You, and you are wonderful people. I do have to say, it's kind of a nice problem to have of, oh, no, there's too many people talking. Because sometimes we do have a little, we have some kind of quieter sessions. So it's kind of nice to have that problem, I have to say, in a way. <laughs> it's good that we're all so engaged. Yeah. And it is not often that I have to, like, stop things and go, okay, please. Also, please. sorry for all the noise. I'm just trying to make these cards fit. <laughs> No, it's fine. It reminds me of uh, fidget cubes. Black. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. Uh, is Tubby back, or did you already? Oh, did Tubby have to step away for a second? Oh, no, yeah, I, I had just come back from. The... Okay. Okay. Sorry. All right. So now the question for Ryder and Ralph is. Are you all going out today? Yes, Ryder will go to Ralph and basically say, We're doing the thing today. So whatever you need to do to get ready, do that, and then we're heading out. Ah, yes. Uh, I don't have a superhero costume to change into, but... I'm gonna act like I'm putting one on so I get into practice and montage of him putting on like invisible gloves and, like, <laughs> face masks and stuff. And then lastly, most importantly, he like puts a cape on that's not really there. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> like poses. So Ralph, what I need you to do, and this is very important. I need you to use special channel perform. Goodness, is Ralph going to make an illusionary costume? Ralph earned psychic. Ralph pretended to put on an outfit. The chat couldn't hear you. Sorry. I have you at 200%, so I'm trying my best. It's okay. I was able to hear. No! <laughs> okay, so for the most part, it is really just Ralph playing at it, but then there's the epic swoosh of putting the cape on, and very briefly, Ralph, you have the glowy psychic energy cape. I'll let you make your psychic energy whatever color you want, because it's yours. Pink. Pink? Uh, not pink. I said I think... Oh, what color would Ralph's energy be? No, Ralph, no king costumes, please. <laughs> uh, I would say this would probably be like no. green. Of course, purple's classic. We'll say it's we'll say it's like the regular purple color, and and Tolkien realizes he can take it. Oh, that's like rainbow LEDs in a desktop. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh. So he like realizes he can change the color of his, his psychic. So I, I'm sorry to derail slightly here, but I'm just imagining you two with just this psychic up holographic color wheel while he's watching Ralph, and he's just spinning the little selector around while Ralph is running with the cape. So it's like uh, Invincibility Star Mario, but only the cape is changing color. <laughs> <laughs> he, he set the uh, he set the um, the shaders wrong, so he only put, he only put them on the cape. He <laughs> <laughs> just set I just set it to RGB mode, so it just cycles through the colors on its own. Beautiful. <laughs> but uh, shenanigans aside, Ralph at least very briefly has purple glowy psychic cape going on. I'm tempted to add that, but I'll save it. I was gonna say you can if you want. I won't stop you. I will say though, Ralph, there is something I should mention from the previous day.
during dinner, you cannot stand even the smell of any form of cooked meat. You would probably think something is terribly wrong with him. Indeed. <laughs> and yet, when uh, one of the hotel servers passes you by with, like, raw steaks that are going out to be cooked, you cannot help but take one. <laughs> nice. This is pretty cool. I could... Oh man, and once Ralph figures out that like you could probably keep the system, like like enjoy a a meal and like maybe there's like crystal glasses, like the glass glasses are crystal. But he he eats the meal as normal and puts the uh, necklace on and eats the glasses. Hmm. This is a really cursed pair of glasses. Better eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, if they're made of precious material, which would be rare, but... I mean, that's true. But at that point, you might be eating potential money. You, you say you try to cheat the system. Reminds me of that... What is that one thing where you can, like, put it on your tongue, and then it's like, you can eat a chili... You can eat, like, a super hot pepper, and it's like, ah, oh, it's nothing, it's fine. Or you can eat, like, something super sour, and it's like, ah, oh, this is fine. There's, like, a thing that tricks all your taste buds and makes everything just perfectly fine that would normally be, like, really... Sour or spicy. It's real. It's a thing that exists. I forget what it is, though. I think it's a particular type of fruit or something that just does this. Yeah. I mean, you could just be me. Or you could just be you. That's also a way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right then. So. When Ralph is prepared, and as is Rita. Where are you going? And I'm going to uh, preface that question, actually, my apologies, by reminding you that you know the location of Sambar Blue, which is the base, question mark, of the, uh, the mobsters? Yeah, the operation. I'd say we that's our best bet is to go to Sandbar Blue to check it out. That sounds fair. Okay. Holy direction giving, Ryder. Let's go. <laughs> to make all the all the references. <laughs> uh, and on the way there, Ralph would offhandedly offhandedly mention that he uh, he's got the whole television. Ryda will uh, acknowledge that by chucking the orb at him to see if he can catch it. Catch it, rotate it around. Well done, Ralph. Oh, Hopefully, you. you are able to use these abilities in the upcoming endeavor. As he lets he as he lets the orb both both rotate and orbit around him, it's like, hey, look, it's it, it's that it's that one fat joke. See, <laughs> <laughs> you have gained planetary powers. Arceus, help us all. Let's see, where is a good. Lounge. Looking for some lounge music? I think we have a few things like that, actually. <clears throat> Let's see. Ooh, it just occurred to me. Me and Ralph can make an artificial, like, cannonball by using Psychic on the orb together and just launching it at people. <laughs> <laughs> this is... this is true. If you all want to make a team move where you basically create a Psychic Railgun, I pity anyone who is the target of the psychic railgun. <laughs> oh my god. We, we, we like buy a big sack of marbles and just. 
So I know what this is supposed to be used for, but I'm going to use it for this anyway, because it's decent enough. Uh, I believe this is events one number 37. Okay. 37. I was scrolling down the list and one of the names stuck out to me. I'm like, oh, it's my name. <laughs> <laughs> In events one, which one is? Let me look at this. Let's see. It's uh, the fourth one from the top. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's meant for a different Hydra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, which one did you say, a car? What number was it? Uh, you can either pick number 37 or number 44, because both are good for lounge music. And we haven't used number 44 very I think much 44, because 37 is more a team theme, but I do agree, it's really good lounge music. I, I totally agree with you Jazzy. on that. Horloins Gang gets a little, gets some jazz tunes. They have two jazz tunes, in fact. Uh, I need we'll to make do. Them show up more. Yeah. Ooh, this song is very good. I like it. That Electra Swing, yes. Yeah. Which one I, are you playing? 44. I'm gonna play too. Yeah. Ah, I love the Electra Swing. There we go. I think that's a good volume. Everyone enjoy this bop. We're probably going to be listening to it next stream. Yay. There we go. <laughs> I should really take my time with this, so that way uh, we do get to listen to it next year. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might not have a choice. Where is it? <laughs> if you need Dude, models, it's... just tell me, okay? <laughs> I'll, I'll pull them out. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Not quite yet. But I believe we have most, if not all, of the models we require. Okay. I say that because I apologize. Right now I'm actually doing something, so I'm not focused on the middle of the table. So just let me know if you need something. That's okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll just read the description I have written down, if that's alright with you two. Before we go in, uh, am I allowed to put on buffs? and then they'd carry over when we walked inside? Yes, if you're expecting to start a fight immediately. Ryda is going in prepared, so I want to use Lucky Chant and Calm Mind. Uh, sure. I assume I have to roll for both. Uh... You're not in combat, so I won't make you roll unless you want to, because technically mm. you can just keep trying. Okay. Then if we both get Lucky Chant, and I get Calm Mind, so right. special and special. Enough, I'll, use, um, I'll go ahead and use um, uh, Stockpile. Stockpile? That's, That's fair. And Kirby inhale some, some ambient energy. By the way, I found a I found an oversight of uh, TTS. I may as well mention just in case you guys have trouble with it. You get a display if if something will will pin to a particular point on the table. You'll see a little display for it when you're moving it around. But if you're dragging it with other objects, it will not give you that display. Hmm. Can create problems, so I'm just letting you guys know. Interesting. Uh, are you gonna preemptively belly drop, Ralph? Ooh, I could. Got it. So I will say this if you belly drum and then you swallow to heal, you won't be able to swallow again for an hour. Sounds like a medical problem. Um, each round of uh, a round of combat is technically like twelve seconds or something in this it's, game. It's six seconds usually. Oh, okay. well, then I could belly drum and then take a um, twelve second power nap. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I like this is like meta planning. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna fuck you. A, a 12 second power nap? How, oh, right, because of rest. Yeah. I thought that's what Ralph meant. Uh, yes. Uh, I will remind, however, because it's a healing move, it does use a will point. If you want to do that, though, I'm fine with it. Also, randomly, I'm doing a table save because I'm very proud of what I just did. There. <laughs> I want to save it. <laughs> so what, what I'm imagining is Ryda and Ralph are hanging around outside this fancy bar that has this nice sign saying Sandbar Blue. And just like Ralph has his fedora tilted down as much as possible over his face while he naps against the wall for a little bit just to heal up. And Ryda's just sort of meditating with their orb, <laughs> eyeing everyone that goes into the establishment. And I suppose I should say that this is. This part of town isn't necessarily a bad part of town, per se. But it's... Does it make sense if I call it uh, sort of like the dark fancy part of town? No, I get that entirely. Uh, kind of the nightlife scene area. With... Yeah. With like more, of a, gotcha. more of a... More of a... Not, not, in a, not in that way, but kind of more of an adult vibe, I guess you could say. Yeah, all the clubs, all the bars, all the... Stuff mm -hmm. like that. Red Light District. Um, so while Ralph is preparing, Ryda, can you give me an insight survival alert? Yes. In the reflection of your orb, you see in your uh, in a nearby alleyway, you see two Pokemon exchange something. One gives what looks to be like little cubes, maybe? It's hard to tell given the distortion of the reflection, but what seems to be like little cubes to another Pokemon and then get paid. Hmm. Righto won't act on that, but they'll note that down. Uh, Yo, bad guy, score some poke blocks. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to make that joke. <laughs> <laughs> were they able to get... Hmm. If they were to tilt their head up to look, would they be able to see the cubes? Um, not by the time you lift your head. Alright. I got a question for the pair. They did so much, like, set up to be ready, but I'm kind of curious if that makes them stand out or look suspicious. I mean... I could just sort of casually be, be slapping them. I don't know, maybe I just had a big... Well, there is music you can hear coming out of the bar, so you can totally do it inconspicuously. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Mm -hmm. um, but, you make a good point. Um, I won't make it a terribly tough roll, because these aren't exactly the most flashy moves, necessarily. So, uh, go ahead, Ralph and Ryda. Give me... Um... Go ahead and give me cool contest perform or etiquette, depending. Sorry at R and R for making things a little hard on you. I was just also thinking like they're kinda not part of the scene normally, so I did wonder Ralph about fits their in. Oh yeah? Ralph's got the get up to fit in. Ralph has lucky chant, so that's a one at least. <laughs> I'm glad yeah, Ralph that's fits one. in. Uh, Ralph is perhaps the most suspicious if only because you are large, and then other Pokemon look at your hat and are like, oh, okay, they, they belong here. <laughs> I guess the clothes make the situation sometimes. Yeah. I got mm -hmm. the gangsta hat. 
Meanwhile, Ryda is using Ralph as a blockade to avoid being seen. <laughs> yeah, just like, I turn one way and, like, do a casual point, and then turn the other way and nod, and Ryda's just perfectly sliding behind me. <laughs> Honestly, it wouldn't be ha hard for Ryda to hide behind Ralph, because Ryda's small and Ralph is just very big. Yup. Perfect. <laughs> Indeed. Um, but I will describe. Uh, first of all, there are no frontal windows that you can see. It's just this... Just kind of nicely painted wall that, for the most part, is black, but it has this really nice wavy blue painted design over it that's it's reminiscent of waves but it doesn't have the normal like repeated curve going on it's just sort of wavy lines and various hues of blue and there is lounge music coming out from set the bar well lounge it is a lounge it's not just a bar but I ask you now, are you ready to enter? And how are you going to enter? I think there's one more thing I want to attempt before we go in. I want to try scrying on the whooper. Oh. Okay. From right outside. Interesting. Is it, so you guys know the whooper is here? Not necessarily. We don't. Which is why I'm using scrying. Ah, trying to create a ping. I see what you're doing. Okay. Yes. Uh, go ahead and roll your scrying. Okay. I'll like bop to this music. Because my thinking is, let's say we do go in here and just whatever we do, and the boss isn't even here. You know? Good point. Yes. Hello. I would like to leave me a message. Please understand, we are a very serious organization. Okay, with my joke bit done. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody laughed, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. No, I was thinking that maybe he was actually like talking on the phone. My yeah, I was. I was like, maybe he sent a phone call. I mean, we did have. Wait, did Zorak no do a phone call? Though. But Zorak <laughs> did a phone call, right? Didn't he? I think effectively. I mean, okay, so Zorak <laughs> may have effectively made a phone call, but that is. <laughs> mm, what would they use? Well, okay, so there is the whole. <laughs> badge thing. Wait, PSFD literally had phone calls. Well, not again, they're not literal phones, but they could, like, hey, beep, we're calling yeah, hey, other rescue organization member, that's, how you doing? What's up over where you're at? It's kind of organization specific. <laughs> that's which, true. again, Pioneer Club does not have access to. And just one more thing that the Pioneering Club does not have over anything else. Mm -hmm. That They're um, more of a humble organization than probably a lot of the other ones. But you are right, actually. It would have been appropriate if they had a phone call, but no. Uh, so you scry on the whooper, and they are way elsewhere. Um, uh, if if I remember correctly, what were the increments? Where's your mark? Uh, they are not within 100 feet. Hmm. Uh, their general location, though, when you scry, is they're somewhere out in Sea Spray. Just not here. Uh. Well, in that case, our options are to either go hunt him down or wait till he comes back. You get the sense that they are having a delicious pasta dinner somewhere. Now would be the perfect time to strike. Let's go find him. Of course, it's Italian food. I relay this to Ralph that he's not here. We're gonna go hunt him down while he's, you know, uh, not guarded. Oh, yes, that sounds good. Yeah, I really want to check out this club, like, later. Yeah, later. 
later. <laughs> Ralph but appreciates you, the vibe. Yeah. But you <laughs> came all the way here. Surely. You know, maybe they exclude here. After all, Ryder, remember, the sniper was watching this place. Hmm. Were they? Ryder did a scry. Hmm. It was a previous scry, but I remember it. Hmm. But if you don't want to enter the club, I can't make you. I know. I'm, I'm really trying to think, because... Interesting we choice. We could yeah. go into the club, but what exactly would we accomplish by being there if the main goal is the boss man? You assume I mean, they're the boss. That's true. You don't know, completely know the hierarchy. Also, even if the people you need are not at the club, that doesn't necessarily mean they won't be at the club. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. Another op option is to like set a trap for him when he comes. Yeah. Or maybe the club is really important for your goals in a different way yeah. that doesn't involve the direct character, too. Yeah. That's also That's a possibility. <laughs> we know this place is important. Maybe it's a cover-up. Yeah. I suppose, since we're here, we might as well investigate before going to hunt down the whooper. Yeah. I'm going to casually walk in like, like I belong there. Oh, All awesome. Right. Yeah. Also, I apologize I'm too boisterous. I realize I'm, I have no, no involvement in the situation. I just like to talk sometimes. <laughs> nah, it's alright. I want to. I'm trying to be strategic because that's how Ryder rolls. <laughs> but it's very difficult to like think of. Okay, what would Ryder do, and what's you know the most optimal thing to do in this situation? <laughs> yeah, optimization fair. is difficult when you don't have enough information. <laughs> mm -hmm. And again. I cannot make you enter this club if that is not what you, the player and or character, wish to do. Yeah. But also, it comes a good place to gain information, so... Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to at least get information here, and then if nothing seems amiss, we can just bounce. Indeed. Yeah. It also gives me an excuse I'm to get this music. Yeah. Well, I think we're also going to try and do that thing where you people into giving more information than than they think. Like, tricks them into giving more information by acting like he has more than he does. We'll just casually come all along and uh, sit by the, uh... It's a club, right? So it has a bartender. So, I will describe the club. I, I asked specifically how you were entering, because it seemed like y'all might go in guns blazing. <laughs> no, no, I no, wasn't going to go in guns blazing. They were <laughs> so smart enough not to. Fair, <laughs> Fair literally said, wait, they're just busting into the club? And I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> this this busting Kool-Aid man style. <laughs> <laughs> And suplex near. <laughs> Where Alf just breaks through the wall right next to the door he could have used, but he didn't. <laughs> I was imagining Ralph busting the door down with like a kick to the beat and just coming in and vibing, and then everybody vibing to the music just like a meme. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a necro dancer level. Yeah. <laughs> But no, no, we're going in casual. Okay. So... Yeah. Casual, like we own it. Y'all give me... Ralph, give me cool contest perform with a plus two. Ryda, go ahead and give me a... Smart contest perform. Okay. Yeah, that would work. Also, that's a three for Ralph. Hmm? And a three for Ryder. Alright. So you come in, and... There's the brief moment of several Pokemon looking at you. Because, of course, you're new, enter new Pokemon entering. And then they go back to their business. 
but to describe. The interior has a sophisticated air, and notably has an interior that caters to amphibious and water types. Circular tables, half surrounded either by lounge sofas with high backs for privacy, or shallow lounging pools with cl crystal clear water fed into them from various boss reliefs made in the image of different water Pokemon heads. A stage for musicians and performers stands at the far end across from a well-stocked bar handled by a Persian bartender. At the moment, there appears to be a slow jazz band uh, playing, being led by a singer. There's a sign near the door telling you that the band's name is Raindance Roulette. And the singer is Bella Starina. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. Oh, I just got a devilish idea. I suppose first impressions tell me go to the bar. Yeah. Are there any other? Are there any, um, any of the, uh, the, the why nots, what's it, where the head Wobba Fets. Wobba Fets. Any of the Wobba Fets near the bar? Uh, there is a Wobba Fet at the bar, and there are four Wobba Fets, not all sharing the same table. There's, like, two Wobba Fets at two different tables. Um, but there are also other Pokemon there, and most of them are dressed fairly well. Awesome. Let's, this... let's get a uh, Edgeman drunk off his ass. <laughs> has the throat. The water front. Ah, uh, how's it going, my guy? <laughs> Do I know you? I'm waiting for a background. Uh, Alright, we'll kind of really approach, um... Well, I'm just, uh, you don't know me. Yeah, you know, I'm far too high up, but... You know, I know you, and, uh... You know, you've been doing a good job around here lately. You're gonna go play. I see you climbing this ladder. Let me buy you a drink. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Ralph. Yes. We're gonna get a headman drunk and he's gonna he's gonna give us lots of uh, information if I have my way. <laughs> so I'm gonna call this a um a cool contest allure roll. Hmm. Because not only are you trying to convince them of of this, which is entirely feasible, by the way, but you're trying to lure them into this. Give me like two seconds. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, I feel like an NPC could straight up fail the role against Ralph, and Ralph mm -hmm. would be like, Ralph would be like, you're a shady stranger who's trying to trick me, but is offering me free alcohol. <laughs> okay, you're lucky the Wobsters are not that good at sussing out this sort of shit. It's not what they're for. Yes. Yeah. They, they uh, can't I mean, beat a three. <laughs> uh... Oh, well, uh, you, you must be from, uh, one of the other continental regions. Well, uh, all right, I could use a drink. Yeah, I do. Yo, Bucky, fill, a, fill this one up. The Persian is wearing, uh, sort of a silver mask on top of their face, and it's got these nice sort of curly wave designs over half of it. 
Is it like a half mask, like Phantom of the Opera? No, it, it's a full mask. It Well, it's a half mask in that it covers the top half of their head. Hmm. Hmm. And what can I get for you today, sir? And they slide a menu over to you and the, the Waba Fett. You know what? Since my friend here seems to think I'm going places, let's go places. <laughs> oh yeah, get him a get him a glass of the strongest stuff you got. Oh boy, uh, so I have a menu. Um. Pardon me while I put this in her chat. Not gonna oh. lie. Well, I guess I am, but uh. <laughs> lying to NPC is one of the funnest things to do in tabletop games. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, lying's great. This is a very weird statement, I agree. <laughs> lying to NPC in tabletop games is hilarious, I love it. <laughs> I also love that line though. Since my friend thinks I'm gonna go, I'm going places. Let's go places is a great way of saying it. let's get let's get drunk. <laughs> also, that Persian accent was was uh, perfect. Perfect, you would say. Maybe I should use it more often. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> um, but uh, I will re reply as the lobster because I like calling them lobsters. <laughs> An entire bottle of Kelpsy Cut, if you please. Ah, uh, you um, got your finest taste. The, the finest taste. Your tastes are the best. Pat on the back. Kind of hard to tell with the mask, but the Persian just sort of raises their eyebrows, looks at Ralph, looks back at the Wild Fett. You realize I will have to take payment in advance to ensure that you can come. It is our most expensive drink in the world. An entire bottle, by the way, if you haven't read already, Ralph, for, of Kelpsy Curtain is 40 poke. Do you mind if I share the menu to the audience just for their flavor? Oh, yes, please, please do. I just I intended to, but I'm doing C. I appreciate it. Oh, no, that. it's quite fine. I'll just do it on the side. It's more my responsibility, anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's... Uh... So, I will yeah, say, yeah. it's ooh, that's a lot. I know if I'll pay it. Uh, I will say that the Wobbuffet does put down ten poke, so you only have to pay thirty if you really want to go through with this. <clears throat> Sorry. This is why Team R and R is great because Ralph is the people person, and Ride is the strategist. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, we we will Ralph, get to Ride it. Ralph's, yeah, Ralph scoffs as if it's it's not that much. Yeah, of course. So awesome. Thank you, boss. Oh shoot, that's yeah. not the that's not uh blah <clears throat> ah ah that's not the boss. <laughs> what? That's so awesome of you, boss. Yeah, of course, of course, I mean, you're not gonna forget the password if you get too hammered, are you? What? No way! We get those drilled into us every week when they change. <laughs> I'm glad there was a password. Was what a shot in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could easily play it off as good. 
you're not false if he was like, there is no password. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and... Yeah, they, they say a few other other things that aren't necessarily really important as they start chatting Ralph up. And the Persian will just scoop the money behind the counter. There, There's some clattering of coinage, but it doesn't sound like it fully reached the floor. So it probably went into some sort of drawer or something that they have back there. Um, but they do slide over to you and the Lava Fett a tall slender bottle that has this really nice sort of kelpsy berry looking design on the front and it has nice curvy text it is it is an actual glittering champagne so you bought the expensive stuff which which drink is this kelpsy curtain the kelpsy curtain there it is yes. yeah these are very expensive i've noticed you put a lot of detail to the effects of these though these are very eclectic drinks and uh, foods. Yes. Um, yeah, Ralph basically just bought the Vogue Clicquois of, <laughs> of the lounge. Ralph externally, <laughs> yeah, that's easy, I'm loaded. Ralph eternally, oh, that's all my money. <laughs> 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 Must keep act up. <laughs> so, Ralph, are you going to partake? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have to act like... Yeah, you know, I just do it all the time. Okay. Uh, you currently have plus one contest for one hour. As does the Wobble Fat. <laughs> I put too much work into this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love it. So, now I understand is... why you encourage the club activities. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. But also partially because I didn't want to necessarily send them off to some random pasta place. <laughs> <laughs> random pasta. It's like, well, we're gonna go to some random pasta place. I'm. I made this whole entire place. I made a menu and all this. Sorry, are you throwing? Are you? Pasta joint. Are you throwing flack at a random pasta places? Come on now. Good old <laughs> spaghetti. Anytime is good. Uh, spaghetti is good, but it's more it's like, like if, if I send them to the random pasta place. I events will take place, but also, will they succeed in what they actually want to do? Yeah, without the uh, whatever information I'm about to get out of this. <laughs> oh yeah. Which, by the way, what is Ryda doing since Ralph is <clears throat> manning the bar? So Ryda would also be at the bar just further down the way, so it doesn't look like Ryda is with Ralph. And just sort of scan the area to see if they recognize any of the goons or, you know, anyone who works for the mob. Uh, did, oh, where did you share? Oh, you must have shared the menu in, like, the server or something. No, I shared it on the table. It's on the table. Oh, I'm a dunce. <laughs> also, I uh, people are commenting that this is ridiculous how much you put effort into this. And I just want to... I, I pointed out in the chat, but I'm just going to say it as, uh, directly to you. Thank you for having such a passion over a game that we've spent 116 sessions on and still being passionate enough to do things like this. I really love that, honestly. Mm -hmm. I will see you all to the end of this if it kills me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope it does. Let's not go that far, but... <laughs> I shouldn't, but I will. <laughs> Also, yes, I put way too much work into this. Uh, I actually asked friends for help on figuring out what should be on this menu, which is why it's so detailed. I just love some of the effects, like the next water move the drinker is hit by with a 24 hours does minus one damage, not super effective. Like, that is so specific, but I kind of love it for that. Well, they're partially based off of the berries they're made from. That's fair. Yeah. Oh yeah, those are berry effects. Wait, is that a berry effect? Yeah. I don't even know that specific effect was a berry effect, huh? The the anti super effective berries are kind of weird. Um, like I forgot so, they existed, actually. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, it's if it's like competitive crap, um, but here it's fun. So Ryda, you don't notice anyone in particular. It's also kind of hard to pick apart the Wabafets if you may have met them before or not, and they certainly don't seem to appear to recognize you, at least for now. 
Oh, um, that's good. But yeah, there's... Uh, I don't know what Pokemon are playing in the band. I didn't think that far ahead. Um, but there is the Starina, who is currently doing a, a swing tune at this moment. Who appears to be the lead singer of things tonight. <laughs> but you notice there are a few other Pokemon who are here. There's a Roserade that seems to be sitting by themselves. There's also a... Uh, words. A Milatic and a Tentacruel, which appear to be sharing a table. Hmm. An odd pair. I think I'm gonna have Ryda approach the Roserade. DM.exe has stopped. I don't know what accent to give this character. <laughs> Southern Bell. French. Southern Bell. Uh, I've done French, though. I, I kind of want to do French, but also I've done French for... French Canadian. <laughs> I will confirm... I car, <laughs> car, car, I will confirm there is more than one French person in the real world, so it might be okay to... <laughs> just to let you know. <laughs> I, I know. I know, I'm trying to do variety. <laughs> I, I haven't done Southern Bell. <laughs> oh god, you guys are actually... Oh no, I killed you. <laughs> the second French person. Yeah, that's uh, that's me. I'm the other French person. <laughs> yes, hello, Zutelor. I am the second French person. Uh, no, no, no. Oh my god, he's a... Some future NPC has to be Napoleon Bonaparte now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, my cough has gotten so much better, but I still have it. Um, <laughs> Nothing like laughing to bring out a cough. Right. The Roserade notices you. They swirl a glass of some sort of wine that they have with them. They also have in front of them... Uh, the golden filet with red potato. Well, what can I do for you, sugar? <laughs> Hello there. I noticed that you were quite alone. Care for some company? I don't particularly mind. After all, it appears my company is late. They gesture towards the uh, lounge seat beside them. Please, go ahead. And feel free to help yourself. I ordered from my eating companion. But as I said, they just haven't shown up. A shame. Someone as lovely as yourself deserves proper treatment. And Ryder will take seat. Right, it wasn't the people person. <laughs> right, as a people person, if it helps the mission, I would assume. <laughs> also, are they at different tables, Ralph and Ryda? Ra 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 they do a different. Ra place. Ralph is at the bar. Ryda is now at a table with a roserade. And Ryda, I need you to give me a beauty contest of lore roll. All right, I've just separated them out for <laughs> physical <Yeah>. uh, clarity. <laughs> Yeah, physical clarity. Yeah, I'm taking a page out of RuneScape's book and uh, getting an underling drunk. <laughs> oh, that's two. That's two. It's still two. Unfortunately, is not not quite what I was hoping for, but yeah. they do seem pleased by your presence at least. Well, better than disgusted. So I'll take it. <laughs> Though they do nudge the uh, the plate of food towards you. Ryda will be polite and partake in a little. Yeah. The red potatoes are cut into coin shapes and arranged like the coins from a lost treasure chest. Wow, so... Really did... <laughs> oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Sorry. <clears throat> so, do you come here often? 
gosh, is right at actually <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm i sorry to gush like this. This is just great for me as a DM. Oh, Finn. Well, I suppose you could say that. As frequently as one can, given the price in here. But it is well worth it. Every single penny. I see. The prices here are quite steep, but the atmosphere seems well worth it. Oh, very much so. That band and singer over there. They gesture with the wine glass towards the stage. I am their manager. So I happen to have a bit of leeway here. After all, good entertainment makes the establishment. See that? Yes, that is quite true. I presume your guest also involves the establishment? Very perceptive. Much more so than the harbor feds they employ. They swirl the glass of wine a little and take a sip. Alright. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Uh, somebody roll a doom die and call odds or evens. Even. I, okay. Let's see, what do we get? I find the comments in the chat funny. <laughs> I had to look it up, and I'm like, oh, okay, that makes a little sense now that I look. You up. didn't know what Riz mean? I was always like, what the fuck? I always thought raspberries <laughs> when I heard because that's the closest to Raz that I could think. Like, it's just short for charisma. Charisma, I can't now, <laughs> but. <laughs> Sound of the middle syllable left by itself and spelled weird. Got it. <laughs> People are weird. <laughs> Words are weird. I mean, vor is the same thing. It's devour. <laughs> That's true. Well, it's also omnivore. Herbivore. It is an actual, it is an official, vor is an official suffix. Literally <laughs> academic suffix. I don't think riz is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know the origin of Well, this. not yet. Give it a couple generations. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you call a thing that's the middle? That's, there's prefix or suffix. I don't, is there a midfix? I don't, I don't know. Meat. It's the meat of the word. There. Uh. <laughs> there. I've declared it. On the <laughs> it's the root. <laughs> yeah, the root word is the proper term. I guess it's yeah, just root. Hmm. Um, they appear to be drinking a darker wine. Apparently. Interesting. <clears throat> well, no. I must confess I have questions of my own. That is you only fair. Not, you are not a regular here. That much, I'm sure. Are you new in town? You are also quite perceptive. I am. Not often you see psychics, let alone what surprise yourself. Why, well, thank you. It does seem an odd commodity around these parts. The beauty or the timing. <laughs> Damn, they smooth. They are. I suppose you could say both. Though, you probably see beauty very often, considering how many mirrors and reflective surfaces there are. Oh! Okay! <laughs> what a logical way of saying that! <laughs> Mirrors yeah, and reflective Rida. surfaces. Okay. I love it's it. It's Rida. So, I'm, 
<laughs> Beauty contest allure. Plus two. Plus your logic. <laughs> yeah, your logic was definitely applied to how to say that. <laughs> that is awesome, actually. Oh, man. Beauty that's contest so allure. Logic yeah. plus two. God, that's a lot of dice. Also, just to randomly ask, are the buffs on your stats, is that current? I just want to double check. Four. Uh, yes, because of combine. Okay, just making sure. Oh, I lost, hold up, I lost track. Sorry. Dashes uh, for you. Six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was definitely intended as a compliment, Crimson. Damn! Print. Critical Riz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, gain a logic point. Yes! <laughs> Goddamn. Well done, Way to go, Ryda. Well done Oops. for doing like a, a more scientific flirt style. <laughs> just slapping the DM so hard with your logic, it doesn't seem like just logic. Also, a logic point, that's a pretty big reward. I honestly. know! <laughs> Holy crap. Good line is good line. Also, right is not uh, ex-human, so I don't hand out logic for story reasons necessarily as much for Rida. That kind of mm. makes sense, yeah. So logic has a different ploy for Rida, I suppose. Oh, well then, aren't you a charmer? Well, I'm certainly glad my companion failed to show up. I found a much better one today. And they down the rest of their glass very slowly before setting it down daintily, leaning on the table as they look at you. So, who exactly is this unfortunate partner? Hmm. No one terribly important. At least at the moment. They got what they are because of bloodlines. Well, that's not to say they are skillless. After all, you don't get very far in a business like this if you're made of milk toast. Hmm. Certainly seems they lack a backbone and common sense. <laughs> Sorry, let me try that again. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, you don't know the half of it. And lacking a backbone might be appropriate. Because just like the Wobble Fed over there, I don't think they even have a spine. <laughs> One of the Wobble Fed at the other tables just looks over. They look kind of sad. Oh, that was me. You don't? We are spineless. How do you think we wobble? <clears throat> of course, it helps when they have such skilled gentlemen up now. Ah, uh, yes, I think I've met a few. Quite How the crafty it? ones. I wouldn't be surprised. The establishment's a relatively new arrival. But I'm ever so glad it came. But... You would think they would at least keep their brood under better control. They sort of look off to the side, kind of wistful. Causing so many problems. That is quite a shame. Are they the ones who are causing ruckus at the hospital? You heard about that? Well, can't say I'm terribly surprised. That's a very serious thing. Apparently, they've gotten themselves strapped down by law enforcement. But, what can you do? A brute is as a brute does. Yes. I only worry for the safety of me and my fellow companions that are here. 
You're here with friends, are you? Anyone I'd like to meet? I'm not sure any in particular. Though you can see my friend over there at the bar having a fun time with the help. And they'll nod towards Ralph. Who's currently enjoying champagne. Yes, with the, uh, with one of the waddles. You, you, Ralph has made a friend among the minions. Which <laughs> can <laughs> be quite useful after I, uh, probably caused this poor, well, before I probably caused this poor fellow to lose his job. Assuming said job still exists after we're done. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I see. Well, they certainly have the wear to be here. I must say, on that note, your outfit is mesmerizing. I could see a future for you on stage if you so desire. I never considered such. Though I'd be interested to hear your proposition. Well, they straighten up a bit and take out a purse, seeming to dig through it a little. Given I don't know your talents, I can't quite say yet. After all, the pretty face is only half the battle up there. You hear our singer? She trained night and day for years to get that good. And the same can be said for every musician. Some are talented, some are skilled, some own their place in this world. And others still are just giving it. They frown when they say that. Since I don't know if you are capable of singing like my dear star here, your outfit would lend it most lend itself most well to dance. But of course, I would not wish to stare at time. <laughs> hmm. A fascinating proposition. I would not be opposed, though I also would not want to get in your way. You see, I don't have any experience. And so before I accept something like that, I'd want to make sure I have something to offer you. My, how considerate. But for being such good and lovely company. Here. And from their purse, they take out what looks to be a relatively small spherical candy that's been wrapped up in a wrapper. Just a sort of nondescript blue wrapper. And they slide it over to you. Hmm. Did she just give me a rare candy? Something from the special man. They don't hand out terribly many of these to people who want to you know. How very thoughtful. Thank you. And Ryder will gently pocket it. Kyrie, your reaction. <laughs> oh, shit, it's <laughs> drugs. <laughs> Is that a new <laughs> item? Let's see here. Okay. <laughs> go whoa oh i like the quotations <laughs> i just got quote unquote rare candy you don't know oh. if it's rare candy true but i trust this roserade for some reason <laughs> <laughs> i'm honestly trying to figure out what rida fills in this conversation like there's clearly some attention here to like get information and stuff but like 
Also, all the effort being put to, like, you know, charm. <laughs> like, it's, it's like, trying to figure out the angle. <laughs> right, right. Sure it's all calculated. <laughs> yeah. Right, I tried to use charm. They don't know that move yet. <laughs> they used Riz instead. <laughs> okay, I'm done making those jokes. <laughs> right, I've done enough. Growl. It was super effective. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Uh. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> <clears throat> A gift of being such a good table mate. And a hope that we'll see each other again soon. They wink at Ryder and stand up. I'm not sure she actually wants that. <clears throat> Don't be a stranger now. Speaking of which, you have a name, Sugar? Why, yes, my name is Ryder. And I'd hope to get yours as well. Hmm. Naughty, naughty. They wave one rose like they're wagging a finger. Afraid I don't kiss and tell on date one. You'll have to come back and ask again. Wait. That's She's like the able sisters. You have to talk to her every day to get more lore. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to find you again. I assume the same place? Or should I expect to see you somewhere else? Oh, I'm here most frequently. Right. But... I also frequent other establishments around town. I've heard of certain glad has been trying to spruce up a bar elsewhere. I might offer them my help. You are quite the generous one. Hope to run into you again. How kind of you to say. As I hope to run into you. Don't forget me now. And they saunter off towards backstage. <laughs> well, you've, uh, you've acquired some info there. Mm -hmm. Ryder has acquired potential girlfriend? Question <laughs> mark. <laughs> slash <laughs> slash definitely a, a, a now favored contact of sorts. Mm -hmm. they're, fond, they're definitely fond of you, so. Yeah. Also, interesting thing here, because, like, I'm getting the impression this might be a mob-operated business, but, like, it's worth knowing that even in a mob-operated business, like, you got a legitimate craftsman, too. You know, like, a manager for an actual, like, dancer-singer. It's kind of interesting. The kind of gray area that professions under a mob banner has. <laughs> well, uh, I'll, they need them nearby to, like, walk right. Well, yeah. Uh, right, it has acquired one femme fatale. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tempt me. Yeah. Don't tempt me. After the Rose Raid left, uh, Right is gonna inspect the candy. Or quote-unquote candy. When you unwrap it, it looks like an orenberry blue hard candy. It's mm. round. A little sphere. It doesn't even have like the uh, extruded band around the middle like you might expect. Kind of shiny when you hold it up to the light. Ryder is gonna shrug and down the hatch. Huh. That doesn't seem like her. Oh. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Roll new character. <laughs> okay. Uh, but Brooks impulsiveness is rubbing off on them. So it may be a sense of writers not in their normal state of mind at the moment. <laughs> uh, 
where are those yellow counters that are for temporary? Over here? Yeah. So take that yellow and put it either on a stat, skill, or specialty of your choosing. Mm. Oh, did you just straight up eat it? Yep. <laughs> Fair enough, then. The like I said, Ryda isn't exactly in the right state of mind at the moment. Interesting. I wonder why that is. Oh. I'm going to need a moment to think about what stat I put it into. <laughs> That's fine. You can That's think fair. about it. Um, I will say that it is sweet, but it's not saccharine. And it has a flavor that you can't quite place. Is it a rare flavor? <laughs> <laughs> the logically speaking, this person was nice. It wouldn't be right of them to give you something like this is straight up poison, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, at least it doesn't taste like rare meat. Unfortunately, for out. <laughs> I might. Hmm. But while you do that, uh, back over with Ralph. Yeah. And, uh. More or less interrogating this guy without, you know, nicely. So, uh. Go ahead and give me uh, its attempt point. Because uh, I picked the yellow on purpose. Yeah. Um, okay. So give me a smart logic contest etiquette. Just uh, to keep yourself veiled. And keep a note that this role is effectively at a minus th it's effectively uh, spark contest logic minus three <laughs> is this I a attempting to like oh, fair enough is this effectively uh ralph attempting to hold his liquor uh from what i understand it's ralph having a pleasant conversation while boozing up and interrogating this uh, Wobbuffet. Uh, Ralph has no trouble holding the liquor. It's actually, <laughs> it's fairly strong. But it is a, it's a sort of sparkling champagne. It actually quite literally sparkles when you put it into a glass. Nice. I just gotta make it not too obvious that I have no fucking clue on the actual operation. But yeah, as he uh, kind of sways his drink around, like, uh, you know, like he had it a million times before, and <laughs> that wasn't, you know, half as much. So, uh, okay, who's some, uh, some of the muscle got, uh, really banged up bad the other day? That's, uh, it's not gonna put things behind schedule, is it? Uh, I mean, not with you, uh, on the team. Oh, nah. Nah. Oh, man, this stuff is really good. Water is so expensive. But, nah. That big brute? He ain't here to help with the operation. Heck, I'm surprised they let him come in here at all. Sorry, I'm looking to see if I gave him the name. <laughs> uh, so, uh, then he, uh, doesn't know he won't be, uh, blabbing to, you know, the, uh, the hospital staff when he comes to. Oh, no. That guy knows how to keep his mouth shut. Besides, he already knows the less he knows, the better. Funny thing about that. But, let's be honest between you and me, the real brains behind that operation is his boss. Well, I gotta say, you wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of his fighting buddy. Ooh. And just like, the Wobbuffet quivers all over like they're made of jello. <laughs> yeah, his boss is the brains of the operation. Uh... 
is, and I believe that's the Wooper. Let's probe for that. Yeah. Yeah, commands quite a lot of respect for such a little guy. <laughs> oh yeah. But of course, ain't without reason. After all, he's the son of the big boss. It's not like he got handed everything on a silver platter, tell you me. You just said he was the son of the big boss? Uh, is. If I said was, that was a mistake. I'm sorry. Okay, is. Alright. Yeah, that, that he is the son of the big boss. Alright. And, but despite that, this minion in particular feels like he earned the position he's in, even though he is the son and probably could have just got. Yep. Alright, alright. Of course, they've been running a pretty tight ship over here. I hear it was a lot more lax in the last place. Well, you know, big town gotta really dig ya. We really gotta sink our teeth in, you know. He sprays a big apple, and uh, you know, I'm a big, I'm a big mountain, so I gotta make sure we take a big bite out of this big apple. A little salty, you know, from seawater and all that. Heh, <laughs> like salt water taffy. They drink another glass. <laughs> careful. Like I say, you still remember the password? Of course you know, I do. You. Hey, you know he'll kill you if you don't. Of course I know. Of course I know. Just wait, waving one of the, like their arm flippers dismissively, even though it's just sort of like they're noodling it at the moment. Because <laughs> I can't go say any here. Not wow. Boys, ah, but I wouldn't want uh, your promising career to uh, be cut short by you. <laughs> it's funny how Ralph's taking the mock um, <laughs> the voice. Yeah, but it's helping your case. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I wouldn't want your career tragically cut short by uh, one night of boosting it up to uh, forget your, you know. So, uh, I would feel better putting in a good word for the higher-ups if you were to just scribble it on this napkin here. Just so I know you ain't gonna go make a fool of yourself uh, before I recommend you for a promotion. <laughs> Fucking nobody. I like this guy, I'm gonna promote him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If it at least gets you to stop talking about that stuff. I mean, come on. Uh, gotta, gotta celebrate here, boss. Hey, hey, can, can I get... I am not providing you another bottle. That one is not even finished. I wasn't even gonna say that. I, I want one of the... Can I have the menu again? <sighs> they sigh, going to retrieve a menu. Pausing to look over at <laughs> the table where Ryda and the Roserade are internal sweating as this guy who thinks I'm loaded is looking at the menu. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Yup. Don't worry. I promise it's gonna be okay, Ralph. <laughs> Can't keep our players loaded at all. <laughs> <laughs> It is my purpose to see you loaded with money and then to see it immediately divested. <laughs> <laughs> Philia is at it again. I will need to have a word with her. Version <laughs> brings over the menu. Ah, oh, you don't you worry about Miss Philia that much. She's a nice lady, a pretty lady. She got us this wonderful entertainment. 
and then they just sort of crumple up the paper and hand it back to Ralph. Ralph? Assuming that Ralph was briefly distracted by the Persian. Yeah, Ralph will, um, he'll, he'll take a peek at it, uh, at whatever he wrote down, uh, stuff it in his bag, and, uh, pat, uh, pat him on the head. Good work, good work. Yo! Oh. You know, part of, part of being one of the, uh, up crust like me is, uh, you know, the ability to, uh, hold your liquor and still remember vital information like that. Guess that means I got the makings of being some pizza crust, huh? Yep, you're gonna be the upper crust of the pizza crust. Oh yeah. And I'm talking deep. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh. all. Four compliments out of my ass. Oh man, that's some tall crust. <laughs> Ralph continues his obsession with relating the wall buffets to pizza in some way. <laughs> Hey, hey, bartender. Greens. The bartender, once again, has that look like they've raised their eyebrows. Greens. Greens do not go with Kelpsika. Everything goes with a really good drink. Yeah. They s the Persian stares and stares. Uh, yeah, Ralph will, Ralph will put Kid Poker on the table and say every and repeat his sentence, everything goes with a good drink. <laughs> he's like, like, tapping his finger on the counter, like, like he's just boss. Oh, you're doing some, you're doing a little bit of like, hey, I'm a boss person, so you, you better agree with me, sort of thing. <laughs> good. So it's yeah. not entirely necessary, but, uh, T tough contest perform, please. Also, Just dangerous because. last words. Uh, I mean, bartender is correct. If something doesn't go over a drink, that means it might make you sick <laughs> when mixed with alcohol. <laughs> or a particular type of alcohol. <laughs> know that from some uh, videos I've watched. Let's see how that roll goes. Oh, boy. They look down at the the tenor. Ooh. They look back up at that's, Keep that's it. quite the thing. <laughs> that's quite the role for something so stupid. I love that. <laughs> Keep it. I am so insulted by this choice that I will not even charge you for the greens. <laughs> and they nice. they turn and go in not even five minutes, and they bring a colorful mixed salad with crunchy pink veggies in it. A plate of porcelain greens. Please sober yourself. You are getting loud. Uh, oh, would you... Oh, no, don't be like that, Tenders. My name is not Tenders. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh, you mind, Mr. Tenders? We, uh... We still, uh... Yeah, yeah. Please. <laughs> Continue to enjoy yourselves. I have other patrons to serve. They squint at Ralph. And then proceed about their business. Ah, yes. Good health choice. Ah, yes. Good healthy choice to help you be able to, you know, do your job. With, you know, of course, you'll have to continue to do until, you know, the paperwork for the, uh, promotion goes through and all that. They talk with their mouth half full. Of course, of course. Oh, God. This is one of the most hilarious things I've ever done. Them on the head as I try to think of what other information I could squeeze out of them. Ooh. Um, when Ryder cried, 
into the orb, did the um, was I privy to the fact that um, Mr. Wooper was uh, at a possum joint? Um, I not- did let Ralph know about it, but I don't necessarily know if he saw through the orb. Uh, I would say that unless Ryda informed Ralph at any yeah, point, he that he would not do. into that. Because uh, if he was aware, he'd have been. It would have been something along the lines of, uh, you know, maybe next time we'll, uh, maybe, uh, maybe next time when you get the promotion, you can treat me to that fancy pasta place the boss likes to go to. <laughs> you know? I... And trick him into saying which one. In, in my head, the conversation that happened was Ryda saying something about they're vulnerable, we should go hunt them down. Yeah. And then just the pause of like, but we're already here and we could use some information. Mm-hmm. That sounds on brand. I don't feel like Ryda is going to just like expunge all the details about being asked. Nah, Ryda isn't very outgoing with telling information. <laughs> oh, I okay. guess. I love, I love the uh, the whole. Ralph's done this a couple of times in this campaign. Just casually talk and trick them into just telling him stuff. It is Ralph definitely is... kind of his thing. Ralph is good at it. Mm-hmm. I will point out you since you already asked about the big bruiser guy, you could also about also about ask about the sniper guy too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, the uh, sniper. Um, what Pokemon was the sniper? They were a Clawitzer. Clawitzer. yeah. Um, the one that's based but, on his p- pistol shrimp. Yeah, but the <laughs> the Wobbuffet uh, just said they were, like, the spooky fighting partner. They seemed very unnerved by the idea of the sniper. Yeah, they did allude to them. He it's, could it's, maybe it's... try and ask and see if there's another sort of enemy we have to worry about. <laughs> like, one we haven't seen. And yeah. the other top cronies lately? Oh, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, there's a way you can lead into that. Mm. With the big dumb muscle out of commission. I wonder if, uh... I wonder if, uh... I wonder if that little guy, or... Uh, with the big dumb one out of commission, I wonder if he's, uh... Tapped into his uh, backup uh, bodyguards. It's imperative that nothing uh, goes wrong. Huh? Hey, now, little boss don't need a backup. Booze is there to intimidate people. The real threat's the other one. Oh, they're, they're always watching. Hey, part of the reason there ain't no windows here. Gotta have some privacy. The other one. Alright, noted, noted. So two top two top muscle. Uh one we um within an inch of its life with a orb. And the other is still uh the more dangerous one is still out and about. Uh it just occurred to me. I don't know where it is currently. It could either be, you know, making sure the boss is okay, or it's spying on this place and it saw us come in, which could be bad. Yeah, that's a good point. Seems to have good vision. <laughs> ah, shiza. <laughs> it might have, it might have. I think I've extracted enough from this Wobba set. We'll uh, pat him on the head. Um, Yo, I think you'll go in places. Huh. <laughs> now, uh, don't go blabbing about this, eh? Wouldn't want all your... Wouldn't want the others to, you know, get jealous that your rubbing elbows would be, uh, upper crust. No, no, of course not. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> hey, Ralph. Yeah. They've got one of those really snazzy fedoras on their heads. Are you gonna take it? I already have a snazzy fedora. <laughs> Ryder right, doesn't it. have a f- snazzy fedora. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I see, I see. You're trying to get part of the outfit. I, I got you're applying. 
I, I ask because you're patting them on the head and it would be a perfect opportunity to do so. Question is, would Ralph think, ah, oh, we should dress up Rido with his hat or something? Also, did he get the password? I don't think he did, right? He did. Yeah, oh, he did, did get it. Okay. Yeah, I did. He scribbled it on a napkin. Oh, okay. Way to go, Ralph. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was scribbled down while Ralph was looking away due to the Persian mentioning the Roserade. Uh, by name, no less. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which I wrote oh, down. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was in a nip. Um, I don't think Ralph would think to. I I have other characters who would think to uh, steal okay. certain hat. I don't think. I Ralph figured would I would ask. Would. That's fair. It is this. It is the same like nice outfit that all the lobsters have been wearing. <laughs> so technically, you could just take it off another one later. Oh my God, lobsters. <laughs> yes, they. Yeah, like lobster. The <laughs> official name for these minions is Wobsters. Uh, I believe I will reconvene with uh, my partner and, uh, and, and share this information. But, uh, but, yeah. Wait, if they're called Wobsters, does that mean this is the Wob? As a group, collective group? <laughs> Nope. <laughs> uh, it would the have wop. to be only Wobsters for that to be true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They're Wobbers. The sea spray Wobbia. <laughs> sea spray Wobble. <clears throat> sea spray Wobfina. <laughs> yes. Right, it will also uh, tell the information they got, even though it wasn't as much. Uh, though they're gonna keep out all the flirting bits. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, so are you reconvening at the table that Ride is at, actually? Yeah. Yeah. In which case there is a, a Rida picked at plate of Goldine filet with red potatoes. Because from my understanding, would... Rida didn't finish it. No. I would get no good meal. Is the golden cooked? <laughs> yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, not too cute. I guess we're off to wrap with air up to too cute right now, but Did Ralph mention the Roserade's name? In their little discussion, cherry details? Yeah. That's true. That's a good question. Is that too incidental for Ralph to think of mentioning? Because for Ralph, that's a very incidental detail. Oh, well, the having a name is not an incidental. That's true. This world. Names are usually valuable uh, to have. Uh, so if someone has a name in this world, they're in either important or they think they're important. That's true, too. Yeah. Names are yeah. special like, in this universe. Like the, yeah. like the gladiators. Some of them have names, and they're not important, but they think they're important. So. Part of the theatrics. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think that is something. Because I have noted in the... Uh, Ralph has noted in the past when a Pokemon has a name Okay. In that okay. case, all details shared. Nice. I was I was gonna say. Then it's probably safe to say that Ralph may have shared it. <clears throat> yeah. If Ralph right. considers the name important, he would probably share it. That, that's the uh, inference here. <laughs> um, even though Ride is withholding certain information. It's they are only withholding the flirting, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As far as Ralph's concerned, that isn't important to the mission. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe Ralph comes up with some wacky new strategies. <laughs> See, that could also be a concern for Ryder, though. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, we don't need more Ralph shenanigans. <laughs> no, but, can't lie, they do give results. <laughs> that said, um, hang on. So don't. We're not going to get rid of the rare candy card for you. I'm just going to mark down that it has been consumed. Okay. Just so I have it for next session, because just in case I don't remember. Uh, speaking of, I believe now is a good time to stop. Um, so. Uh, Could I do one last action before we go so I don't forget it? Yes. I wanted, because me and Ralph uh, talked about all the information, one thing I did want to check is scry on the... Uh, Claude's here to see where that thing is and see if it's outside or if it's far away. So I'm not going to make you roll. I need mm -hmm. you to flip a coin. Or rather, oh. you can roll a die and pick odds or evens. Is Ryder thinking about their, them being noticed entering or something? Or is that still yes. off the table? Oh, okay. So that is, is the worry. Entering. Uh, okay. I was curious if you guys had insight on that idea or not. No, that's just me thinking. I'm gonna go odd. It was odd. Ralph, Ralph, or Tubby, you are talking so quietly I can't hear a word you're saying. Oh, oh, the thing was up. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Ralph will have mentioned that the uh, the minions at least are much more afraid of this sniper dude than uh, the dumb muscle we beat the shit out of. Right. <laughs> because one's there for intimidation and one's there to actually do things. Mm -hmm. That's the point we that you guys that you got definitely for that. So yeah. Thing. Rida, when you scry <laughs> the sniper you get a sense that they are somewhere else in the city. And they are somewhere up high. But they are not near to the to Sandbar Blue. Okay. You also at this point having scribed them twice, I would say it's safe to say that Bryda might draw the conclusion that they might normally be outside of the really close scrying range, given that they are a sniper. Hmm. Makes sense. Because I always want to oh. stay away from other people, so it's hard to reach, them out, reach out to that. True. But hey, Though if they're it. up and away, that means we're good. Well, the it, thing is, like, it's hard to tell if who knew what happened, who shared with who. It's, there's still possibly danger, but... Well, yeah, maybe. Maybe. But <laughs> for now... Not cyber danger. Shot as soon as we walk out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That danger is, is not is not a concern at the moment. <laughs> yeah, your also, concern was that through the scrying orb you would see the door to uh, this bar if behind a big target. <laughs> so through, through a reticule, you look through the scrying orb, you see a, a reticule aimed on the door waiting for us to leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that was my worry. <laughs> well, the other thing is, you know they can move fast. You've scried them now, so there is a chance they were here before. <clears throat> mm -hmm. You just know they aren't around here right now. Good enough for me. Yep. And there may be other foes. Who knows? But, so first of all, everybody, get your two experience. Okay. And I know I already gave Ryda a logic point, but I'm giving them another two experience. Yes. And I'm giving Ralph another two experience. Hmm. 
Also, I don't know if it matters, but I, I think I will say for the for Tucker's second practice session, which or he's asked just to practice by himself. He probably went back to the water arena or uh, arena section to practice little spars or such. Oh, cool. You would get a chance to spar with Jocelyn, who actually doesn't mind being tasered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'd probably spar with Jocelyn. He likes Jocelyn, so. Age and me, bro. It also, sakes... <laughs> it also sakes we end up getting a second athletic point, because I was like, yeah, he's going to be doing, doing some extra. I can give him another point for that. In which case, you can also add another experience point. Okay. Because you spar with Jocelyn. Sorry about only thinking about it after the fact. I just kind of wanted to shuffle out of the way for R and R session. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. I didn't think about it either, but yeah, that's logical. Let's see, what was the cost again of that specialties? If, if anybody wants to buy anything, of course, sounds a good time too. No, I only got four. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just. Six I never points. expected to like R and R shenanigans as much as I have, but they've been really fun. I didn't expect this dynamic to be the main one. <laughs> <laughs> also, hopefully. Oh wait, no, Kyrio just just giggled. Yeah, okay. I, I was like, I, I hope Kyrio it. did not pass out. <laughs> yeah, I hope uh, Kyrio. I hope, I hope you've been well. I know it's been very much not a session <laughs> involving us, but that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, I love the shenanigans. No, it's straight up bullshitting scenarios and coming <laughs> up with coming up with stuff off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. You know I was kind so of worried I was going to fall flat with Rida flirting. Oh, uh, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> just... yeah, you found the logic angle to make it work. I loved mm -hmm. it. It just went so well for you. <laughs> I am so happy. <clears throat> I, I have oh. to say, it's kind of funny... I keep, like, obviously I'm trying to lean towards stuff a little bit, but you know how I only stat Tucker when he does something giving that stat some worth? I'm surprised how even his statting has been, actually. I guess that does mean he, he has been kind of doing the Red Mage thing where he's practicing different things at different times, which, good. <laughs> it's kind of what I was hoping for him. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And also, maybe what I, I was doing specialize... earlier... Oh, yeah. Go ahead. I'm just going to say, maybe I should specialize Rida into just flirting with people to get information. Because they're androgynous, they can go both ways and people wouldn't question it. And, I mean, again, Curly has a fairly pretty Pokemon, so flirting works, you know, as, on, a, on a physical and level, it, too. It buffs hypnosis if you go with Allure. That... Mm -hmm. A what? Oh yeah, yeah it does. It's insight contest allure is hypnosis. It's one of like two moves that use allure. <laughs> Ooh, I'm sure if I had more. two more XP, I could have gotten allure. That'll be for next time. Yeah. Also, just to explain what I was doing earlier when I was doing all the weird stuff in my booth cards, what I was doing was basically planning ahead for later moves. I also decided to take out every one of the uh, base moves, shrink them all down a few sizes, and then just tuck them in the corner. So now I have plenty of room for new moves, and also I play, display everything. Mm -hmm. And I also arranged things in an order that I kind of liked for everything, too. So that's what I was doing. Yeah. Efficiency. I organized mine, too. On the right, I have stuff that are positive, and then on the left, I have stuff that are negative. Or affect enemy, affect self and team. I like that. Yeah, that sort of characterization. I kind of did the same thing. Like... I, I'm kind of leaving the four moves set like they're base moves that I think are good to use here and there, mm -hmm. and then I put the other Fang moves next to Fire Fang, so it's easy to kind of look between them. Just sort of left and left my special technique stuff on the top of the second list because they're special techniques of all my own, so why not? And then for the bottom, I just like threw I honestly I threw the, like the less the non damaging stuff at the bottom. <laughs> wow, I. Truly hope you all enjoyed the session. I did very much. Aside from how it started for me, but that that was at least I fixed things up. This room is now cleaner than it was before I made this mistake. So hey, I guess it <laughs> kind of works out. I was forced to clean my room a bit. <laughs> I I know this was shorter, and I know this was mostly centered on Ralph and Ryda, but also they needed the spotlight very desperately. Um. And I imagine uh, next session we will see the rest of the R&R session, which 
may or may not go for a, a session after that, depending on how things go. But it does seem like we have a good setup here. You guys got a good deal of information and some set dressing for more about how this gang works. So, and the kind of the atmosphere they frequent. So, seems like a good setup for the next R&R. &R. <laughs> I do enjoy R&R, &R, but also I want you guys to have a chance to do stuff too. I do feel kind of guilty when me and Ralph hog up all the time. Well, let me ask I this. I actually grinding in... out moves. Oh, go ahead, Kyra. So, I don't mind grinding out melt moves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, car. I assume you'll work on that card unless you want me to do it. Um, um, I will try to remember to work on the card. It's because it's holiday time. It's been hectic. That's fair. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Um, if you want to give me all the details, I could probably do it too. But regardless, either way, if you make the card, just like let me know, and I'll put it on the table. Okay, but again, I'm trying to get better about that, so you are not always doing that. You generally have enough to do. True, but I do admit I don't do Thanksgiving, so I don't have that hecticness in my life, so... <laughs> it's gonna be yeah, two I'm weeks. busy tomorrow. That's true, you have two weeks, so it's not Thanksgiving for two weeks, thank God for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holidays are nice, but only in small doses. I just forget they exist. <laughs> the curse of retail. Um, oh, good luck with Black Friday, by the way. When is that? I always forget what, when that happens. Directly after. after right, they follow up Thanksgiving with that. Why do they do that? I don't... That's that's exhausting. Uh, but there's Cyber Monday after that as well. But oh, yeah. anyway, thank you all for being wonderful players. I hope you enjoyed. I hope the audience enjoyed. If you have questions, comments, and concerns, you always know where to reach me. Oh, I, I try have, to always leave myself available. I have one more question for Ryan and Ralph, actually. Oh. That might be relevant. Just set up for the next session. Do you guys think that that's enough research for one day, or you, you, like you think you're going to do more on that same day? Um, I think we have enough information of just okay. We know basically what we're dealing with. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, it's a question that's be... actually relevant for the entire party in a way, so I was figured I'd ask it. Yeah. Uh, less obvious than than uh, less obvious is that wherever the front is, because I, I was going and expecting the uh, bar itself to be a front, but if he's nervous about saying the password at the bar, then that leads me to believe the bar is not the front. Makes sense. Or, it's very public. Or, if I may not necessarily dispel that notion, but add mind goblins, because it's what I do as a DM. <laughs> um, the, la the lounge slash club slash bar, whatever you want to call it, could still be the front, but because it's the public face, they don't want to say it there. Mm-hmm. Sorry for interrupting your outro, Car. The reason I interjected was simply, if they decide to do more stuff in the same, like, in-game day, the next session is all going to be R&R &R for the most part, and that's totally fine. But if they decide to, like, sit on it to the next day, then that means there's more stuff involving Kyrie and me, too, for next session. So that's why I figured I'd ask that. Oh, I understand. Either was fine with me, by the way. I just figured I'd get a heads up if I ask it. <laughs> I'm getting cut off. All right. Bye, Kyrio. Good luck with uh, Thanksgiving, Kyrio. I know that's a bit of a task for you, too. Good luck yeah. and have a good night. Actually, to everyone, I hope you all have a nice Thanksgiving. I don't really do holidays. That's why I'm really effective as a streamer, because anybody who doesn't have a holiday event, I can generally stream something for you. Uh, but also, uh, I don't do Thanksgiving for a second reason. I'm in Canada and they do it at a different, they do it like a month ago or something. I don't remember exactly. <laughs> it's a completely different day. So, um, but yeah, I hope everybody does have a good Thanksgiving because I, I do realize that most of my audience is US based. So I hope you all have a good time with that. Um, eat a lot of food. <laughs> yes. um, I will say the other reason the question that you posed is good is I don't know if Ryan and Ralph will decide to add uh, Brooke and Tucker into this. They probably won't, given what I understand of the situation at the moment, but that just means I need to give Tucker and Brooke things to do. 
How much of the day do they spend with the club events, anyways? By rel influence the question. Uh, the schmoozing with Ralph probably took at least an hour. I feel like they were there for over an hour, but I don't feel like they spent the entire day at the club. No, not the entire mm -hmm. day. It has not been the entire day. So they, they could do more that day if they wanted to. It's up to them, so. Indeed, indeed. That My thinking was we get information at the club, then we go do what we're going to do. That's why I kind of figured. You pr I was figuring it might they might do more stuff that same day because I recall that Ryda had a goal to find the you know the the Wolbuff, I'm sorry the uh, the Whooper. So since the Whooper mm -hmm. wasn't there, this was like a stopover to then go to the Whooper. So like I expect Ryda want to do that in the same day, the Ergo next mm -hmm. session. So. Oh, I forgot to mention to Ralph that uh, the Wobbuffet does let slip at some point that. Uh, the little boss recently brought in something real interesting and shiny that the big boss is quite interested in. That's oh, my that shiny is... rock. Yeah. There's uh, another uh, uh, another thing uh, definitely of note, and I remember taking note. Fair enough. <laughs> The All right, little boss. Yeah, the little boss is the son of Big Boss. Yeah, and Big boss is yeah. Not Big Boss. So there's so. at least one dude higher rank than Mr. Wobbuffet, which is probably relevant information to Ryder too. Yeah, because if that changes the dynamic of okay, Wooper isn't the big boss. They're still scummy and a mini boss in a sense. So we <laughs> need to get them, but is that a short there's joke? someone higher up. <laughs> <laughs> so you've, got, you've got the Wobsters, which are the low-level yeah. thugs. Then you have the uh, uh, Whooper. What's his name? Then you have. I, the I think the term is. Well, I guess they'd be the mafiosos proper, which are currently the Crawdont and the Clawitzer. Then you have, I believe the term is Capo, which would be the Whooper, and then you would have the Dawn, which is whatever is above the, the Whooper. The Dawn. The current Dawn is Ekong. Hmm. And the Dawn could be anyone. Initial impression is, oh, it's, you know, if the Whooper's the sun, maybe Quakesire, but could be someone else. Well, it's, it's a Paldean Whooper. I love that's I love true. The, I forgot about that. Go ahead. I love the delayed sigh as Carr put together my joke like three or four seconds after that. <laughs> I just, gosh, darn. I think I missed it, and I, I mean that may be a good thing. <laughs> he said the current dawn is Key Kong. No, no, it's not. That's not clicking anything in my brain. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, I see now. <laughs> this would be better if they had some sort of like um, primate as part of their muscle, but. <laughs> Though Rosary did give me the heads up that the boss doesn't have a spine, so yeah, Whooper Quagsire checks out. <laughs> I mean, so, Charum, mm. in the same vein as my. Dear, dear DM, who graciously runs the games I'm in, you've spoken it into existence, and so it shall be. <laughs> Tilt's head? <laughs> okay, then. Primate. Oh, no. I see. <laughs> anything the players and or audience say can and will be used against you to greatest effect. This is like a, you know, just like, just like a police cop situation, except for it's a DM situation. <laughs> it's a fun thing to do to your players. Like, they come up with a lot of cool and creative stuff, and a lot of the time, whatever you had in mind, you're like, I'm gonna throw that out the window, because that's cooler. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Players don't really realize how much they actually feed into their own games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Really, uh, thank you okay. guys for the dice session, especially after I literally kind of shook myself thanks to the the really huge spill I did earlier, because literally it almost soaked a ton of important documents that I legitimately can't even replace. 
So <laughs> that was a little scary. I was a little bit shaken up by that, but I, I felt better now. Oh uh, man, I remember one time with a with the DM. Uh, he we, we had like little pieces on the tabletop. Uh, we were doing it through tabletop simulator, and and he he was in a little bit of like a a scattered brain mood and uh, and i was like oh wait is is you know this character there like a hilarious character who it half makes sense for them to be there and you see, i saw his cursor stop for a moment and then go over to grab that character and place it on the net yeah <laughs> <laughs> i was like yes <laughs> <laughs> they had to think about it for me like yeah let's do that <laughs> Oh, that was great. All right. I think I will do my outro now. This was a I'm very here. lovely session. Thank you, everyone. You can keep talking afterwards, but let me just say that I hope you all enjoyed, everyone. And, of course, session 117 will be in another couple weeks. Please enjoy your Thanksgiving, though, immediately when this is up on YouTube, it will be two days after Thanksgiving. But nonetheless, I hope you had a nice Thanksgiving, YouTube. Hope it was a good time. Let me know what you let me know what you had for dinner. Uh, if it was something special, because uh, everybody eats turkey, but sometimes people get unique things to eat for Thanksgiving. I'm curious. But uh, yeah, also, I'm not totally saying that just to get like extra algorithm value out of the comment section or anything. But, no, what? Why, why would I do that? <laughs> but yes, yeah, so you all have a good night. I will see you again for Poker World in two weeks. And of course, more streams to come along the way of that, because I'm still finishing up the Sonic Adventure Games Expo. Uh, showcase. So come by for more streams. Next one's on Friday, and I will see you all again very, very soon. <laughs> <laughs>